So where we left off, we were in um, some form of research facility. Um, obviously, lots of uh, body swappage going on. <laughs> lots of cockroaches. Lots of roaches. Um, apparently, some experiments are going on. Mm-hmm. Some flying ducks. Some flying ducks. <laughs> some flying ghost ducks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we finished that fight in that room. Um, didn't do anything after that, no investigation or whatever. We kind of ended it before we could. So we'll start off there. Um, so we'll start off if anybody wants to check out the room now that the, uh, the fighting is done. Yeah, I'll check it out, see if there's any other, like, I shelves, computers. Seven. 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 Investigation. Investigation, yes. So 15. Oh, I'm sorry, 9 then. Oh, then 20. 20 then. 20 then. That was the grand perception. Okay, so 15, 15 20, 20, 9, 9, and 9. So everybody looks around. Um, no computer terminals in this room. Um, overturned desk. Some of the lights have been broken out. Uh, shells, everything's pretty much a wreck. However, in one of the, as everybody's kind of rooting around, Jack, you start rummaging through a desk, and in it, you in one of the drawers, you find these. There's four of them. Oh, Jesus. So I will let you read that, and then do what you want with those. Four of them, you find four stem packs. They're little, they kind of look, they're about this long, little cylindrical tube, got a little bit of a needle on them, and they're, you know, you stab yourself with them and you get health. There's four of them. So, what do you want to do with those? Um, I'm going to put those in the bag. All of them? Yes. Okay. So, you have four in the bag. All in Griffin's bag. <coughs> and then, uh-huh. so you, so you uh-huh. have to write on her sheet stem pack times four. Chance. Where? In her bag. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's right. I can use the back. You can use the back side. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, that's. that's yes, cool. Griffin seems to be a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> so. Well. That's the only thing that's available in that room, so we'll give him a minute to, yeah, uh, write, down. to write that down. I think you guys are going to like the next one. Uh-huh. Oh. The, the, the next. They're all the same, Jack. There's four of those. That's all four of those pieces of paper. No, 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 not in here. No, they're not the same. Yes, they are. Hang on. Oh, no. Ah. Then then give me give me those. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did throw something else. That, yeah, those you find this you don't find that. <laughs> Well, you pretend you don't see that. And don't say anything out loud of what that is. Okay. Jack was like, that's why I was so curious when you read the second one, he was like, ha. <laughs> Yeah, because I, yeah, that. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I figured I like the second thing I find. Like, I found something else. else. Yeah, see, this should all be the same. And I forgot that was a late addition that I added a couple days ago. That's for later. There you go. S T I M P A. Everybody like to do. This is the last room down that hallway, and outside there was the big double doors. Double door stairwell. Yeah. I guess we're going downstairs. All right. Or upstairs. I'll go downstairs. We seem to have got or like to the stairs at least. It seems like we've gotten everything on this floor. Okay. So everybody exits the room. Um. Basically, it's it's a big metal corridor. Everything you know got a couple of lights in the wall. You know, heading down, it goes down one flight, and there's kind of like a little landing, and it curves, it goes down another flight. At the bottom of those is an actual set of closed double doors with a reader. Okay. So I don't forget who, I don't even remember who has the, you key have the key card? Yep. So I will lead off. Well, okay. let's let Kairos do that. Why do I lead? <laughs> well, you did it the last one. Uh, I guess I'm leading. I'll go down first. Okay. Someone still needs to do the key card. 
was gonna say is that you get you get well, I'm the one with it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. So did you? Are you hitting it all? There's nothing in the stereo. Are you giving it? Okay. You okay. You swipe it. Yes. Okay. So you open the you swipe the key card and um, doors shh, they open up and fancy. You're <laughs> you're you know the light coming through is a little bright, so you're kind of blinded for a second as that fades and you get your um, your eyesight kind of returns to you. You see that it's passive, you know, you're, you're able to see it. It's one big kind of open room. Um, the walls and everything are metal like everything else. However, the, the floor is grass. So it's all grass with a few trees. And actually there's even um, coming out of the wall. So as you come in, you know, the wall here, there's like a grate and there's actually like a creek that comes out of that wall and cuts through. There's a little, kind of like a wooden bridge that goes across at the, you know, for the two sides. And you see that it can wind back and it goes into that far wall. Okay. You can also see that there are four doors in this room. One here, one here, one here, and one here. The biggest thing, however, that you see is there are dozens, and I mean dozens of all different types of creatures. You see kobolds, you see tabaxi, you see orcs, you see elves, and you know, every, you know, humans, and they're all acting extremely odd. They're freaked out. You see, you know, a tabaxi in the water trying to swim, like it thinks it's put, you know, it needs to be in the water to swim. Um, as you're looking around, an orc comes running at you. Running is is one way to put it. He like kind of runs and then jumps and he's going like this, like he's trying to fly and then hit because he can't fly. So he yeah. hits, gets up, comes running up to you. And he gets right in your face. The bugs, the bugs. Oh my god, the bugs! Get us out of here! And he sees the door open. He just runs past you and up the doors. Straight intelligence check, so just use your intelligence modifier. Nine. Thirteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twelve. So, the two of us are, are kind of like in all of this, we're like, you know, what's going on? You two, it kind of clicks with you two. They must have the same issue that we've been having. Uh, something swapping them around. Okay. Oh, no. And that's why they're acting so funny. They're not used to being in these bodies, same yeah. as we have not been used to being in these bodies. Yeah. So okay. there are like so literally I'm like assuming... dozens crammed in this, all like freaked out. So I'm assuming that cat must have been switched with a fish. Some sort of aquatic animal, obviously, apparently. And, and it then, thinks it's supposed to be yeah, in the water. Yeah, and then I think that thing that ran past us probably got switched with a bird. Yeah, you're you're probably right. Probably a good right. idea. Um, yeah. Well, there's four like doors in here. Yes. Why don't we try to? There's four of us. I don't think we I should don't split, split up. up. Yeah. We never know what we're gonna run into, and there's. If I run into a spot where there's four of these cockroaches, I'd rather have some of you around. Yeah. Yeah, I concur. I would rather stick together. Yeah. Well, why don't we try to go into this first one here on the right? Okay, first one to, so as you're coming in the one over here to the, yeah, the right yeah, hand yeah. side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna write in the Google Daggers just in case. Do we need the key card? Yeah. One second. Oh, that's okay. I'm just trying to think about what to order. Mm. Have the key card ready too. I oh, am. Yeah. Over there, Chris. Well, Blackjack, Chris. Well, he's not gonna be able to hold daggers and a key card okay. in his hands at the same time. Because so one dagger is side. One dagger. I got the key card. The key card. This dice okay. is doing me pretty well. So, you walk up to the door and it does indeed need to be swiped. Okay. So you swipe it and shh, it opens up. Um, inside, you find a. Uh, actually, give me investigation checks. That's not good. Uh, 
of it being a, a, a pretty messed up room, you're able to see that there seems to be a, a corpse in the corner. Okay. Um, human, same okay. as the one upstairs, um, white lab coat, khaki pants, okay. kind of a nerdy looking dude. He's dead. Um, this room also is trash. In the corner, Rosemary does spot the glow of a terminal over in the corner. And then the um, these vents also have been knocked out and the vent is laying on the floor. So okay. it's, it's open like that. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go poke the dead man to see if he's actually dead. Okay. okay. Gonna go check to see if he's dead. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what does that roll? Uh, <laughs> Probably so you go up and poke him? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. You go ahead and poke him and he don't move. Dead. Um, You do find some, you, when, as you're poking him, it, it seems like there's something hard in his pocket. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see if I can find another. You can you you reach in for it and it's uh, another one of those glass vials that you found upstairs like oh. like from a beaker set that's uh-huh. intact. So you find another glass vial that's worth three silver. Um, hey guys, there's Rosemary. There, I don't know if you saw. I see. I think there's a terminal in the corner there. If any you know anybody else wants to look, or I'll go over and try and do the terminal. Okay, the so a investigation. Yep. Investigation. Nat twenty. As Brittany calls. <laughs> Yellow. Are you still a uh, vile? Hey. Yeah, we're playing right now, but it's fine. Okay. If you want No, you can, I mean, whatever you, you know, whatever. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. How much was that vile one? Three, three silver. Um, and you got a nat 20 uh, investigation check. Yes. So yep, yeah, you're you got the hang of this now. You figured it out. They're all they all run the same. There's um a couple of uh, of locked entries, but there's one that you're able to, to click on and go in, and it reads um, internal memo zero one one nine. Oh God, the bugs! The bugs are mutating. The subjects they're oh God, just send help. And that's all it says. Okay. Good. That's not good. And that's um. You all kind of look around the room. Most of everything's been broken, trampled on, or possibly taken from, you know, with yeah. all the, the chaos. The, all the chaos. So you find the vial and the dead man. Yeah. You've got the journal entry. All right. All we, right. May end, we may end up going into, like, the next segment because I don't know how long. Because we, we got most of this done. Yeah, already, so okay. Just letting you all know. Okay. Um, we might actually get to start a new portal after this one. So... One room down. All right, well, let's go back out and just go straight across to the yeah. other. Okay. Straight across the other side. So. Making decisions. You come out, and uh, again, it's, it's all grass and all that, and everything like that. So the I'm creeks, here. the creek is wide enough that you could probably hop across. Obviously, Rosemary just flies across. Uh-huh. But there is a bridge available to you if you don't want to. Please use the bridge. I don't want to get salty. All right, use the bridge. Salty uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just walk uh, I'll go over the All right, so like she flies over, and as she does, like our presence has been noticed, obviously. So they're all kind of watching us, sort of. They're still pretty freaked out about you know what's going on. They do shoot some looks, but don't really pay no mind. So everybody crosses over. Doors locked. Swipe. Swipe. Psh, opens up. Inside you find um, another corpse, no same, you know, human, khakis, all, um, lab coat. There are a few um, other people in there that are alive. They're kind of huddled up and hiding. So you've got a um, a dragonborn in there, uh, a red skin dragonborn. You have a another human, and you have a um, we'll go with a turtle or a turtle type creature, okay. and they're just kind of hiding. So they're not really paying a lot of mind. So if anybody wants to, uh, 
talk. I mean, like. I'm not gonna be rude and just go straight to the guy's body. <laughs> so I am going to go talk to them. Okay. Uh, are you guys okay? Do do we look okay? Not really. Like I'm not a turtle. I'm not supposed to be a turtle. Are you guys in different bodies? Um. Well, that's technically me, and that's technically me. So. Oh, so you're in you too? You guys? Yeah. You guys too? I don't. I don't know what happened. We were um. We we were brought here, and they put us in these machines, and we, I guess, fell asleep. I don't know what happened. And then all of a sudden, everybody, we all kind of woke up, and none of us were who we're supposed to be. So I, I don't know what's going on. We, we, we just kind of this this one was cracked open. We 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 came in here and we just shut the door because we there's all sorts of noises coming from outside. Some of these other rooms we can hear noises upstairs. It's just we you know we figured like. The dead guy isn't gonna hurt us, so we figured this is probably the safest place for us to be. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen any cockroaches? No, there's nothing else in here but us. Okay. Have you seen any bugs? Just, just, just us. No, okay. we, we, okay. as soon as we, we came out of the one room over there. That's where everybody woke up, and then we, we couldn't get out, so we kind of like forced the door open, and then when we found that courtyard, we just kind of like. We're like, screw this, we're gonna, you know, we, yeah. we came in here, and we, we just been hiding in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, um, one more thing. Are you guys hungry at all? Because I can give you some food. I, I, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, no. I just want to get out of here. Well, if you follow us, we might be able to get out. Well, we might be able to help you. Well, I, I will, I'll, pre- I'll, I'll appreciate any help that, that anybody can give us, because, like, can you give us back our body? Well, if we could do that, we would have done it. So, unfortunately, well, I guess that's I guess that's true. Unfortunately, we haven't mastered that yet. Do oh. you but, happen to know where your body is? Um, you're speaking to the turtle, yeah. so the turtle guy. Um, honestly, no. I I I, I have no idea. I'm 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 originally a kenku. I'm I'm a bird person. So if you see a bird person around there somewhere, that's probably my body. But that's definitely not me. Okay. All right. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like at almost every race yeah. throughout, like yeah. all the different no, we were planes just, and everything. Wait. Like it's a big like. I have a, so could you maybe like show us where you woke up? I I can. It, it, there's, there's nothing out there, there, right? No. 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 I mean, shouldn't be. And you might see is, some other people just running around. Like yeah, crazy, and if there is anything they bad, aren't hurt. We'll, we'll take oh, care okay. of it. We'll take care of but it. Can I search the dead body quick, please? Yeah. Oh, of course. They don't care about the dead body. No, they don't. You don't have to. to oh, so I'm going to search the dead body. You don't find anything. Either yeah. you didn't have anything on him or somebody picked him clean. Okay. Um. Well, we're gonna wait right here until you yeah. tell us what to, you know. We're not going out there unless we we got some sort of backup or something. We okay. will argue. But did you guys want to stay behind us? Did we see any other shelves or anything? You guys haven't actually like. Oh, okay. No, well, I have a search yeah. Investigation. And that's a three that twenty. Plus. Sixteen. I got a four. Thirteen. So um. Thanks for you look around you. and it's um. It's a pretty intact room. Um, the, there is a terminal, however, it looks like it got broken or, or possibly damaged. It's not on. Um, everything else is um, pretty much intact. So as everybody's rummaging around, um, there's like a cupboard, like a metal, like almost like a medicine cabinet. Rosemary opens it and uh, she finds six health potions. Hmm. Okay. No, we're dealing with that. Of the not cool fungal. for her. Um, actually, I found six. I'm going to give you guys <laughs> each one. So she keeps three and you guys each get one. Okay. Of the, the 2d6 ones.
case anybody was curious, because Jack wanted to be, yes, I still carry around the dragon's eye that I yanked down right. with my knuckles. Okay. Other than that, um, again, the room's pretty much been picked clean. Okay. There we are, just so I don't lose it. No, the cat to the eraser. Oh, okay. Good idea. Um, all right, well. All right, well, I'm fine heading back out. Sorry if you were going to say something. No, you're good. I was going to say the same thing. Rip Jack. <laughs> Flap on. Flap on. Flap uh-huh. on. Flap off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> there used to be lights that you, they had commercials that you would clap them on, you'd clap twice, and they would clap on, and you'd clap uh, twice, you'd clap off. So when I said flap on, your dad just went, uh, flap on, flap off. Yeah. Except for the commercials. Too. That, remember that episode of Frasier we watched when they were at the, and they were clapping and the lamp kept turning on and off? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> So, anything else we want to do in this room? No, not. Okay. Is there anything with the vents in this room? Vents intact. There's something. Yep. Okay. No, it's no, it's good. I was too sure that was part of the character, as it was. Yeah. Um. Then yeah, I'm fine so heading out to another room. It okay. seems like. I don't know. Got these guys in the corner. They don't really want to move, but we got some information out of them. There's yeah. definitely the same body situation. Well, uh, well, well, they did offer to show you where they came, where, yeah. where they came yeah. from. But I thought they were they gonna come out. Yeah. If you follow, if they, oh if yeah, you, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Follow, they were, they're not going by themselves. Okay, I thought they weren't gonna come out. They're, they're, they, they, they want like, no, no, yeah, yeah, protection. Um, if come you guys out. ever get hungry, just ask. I have, I can make a meal. No, you don't. No, you can't. No, you can't. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, I well, we 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 appreciate the offer. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has any other. Actually, um, so everybody's done in this room? Yeah. yeah. So as we walk out, um, so his momentary confusion of, of Flapjack mentioning food, it, fi- it dawns on, on Kaimos, your bag is starting to smell a little funny. So if you wanted to check the contents of your bag. And, yeah, I can check the contents. Yeah, let's see. You know, what the eggs are. Oh. It's been about a week. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Wait, so what, you had eggs? I'll get rid of the eggs. So you're just going to... Yeah, yeah. Yep. Why did so, you get eggs? From oh, the temple. Yeah. Way back, remember when you so never had a puppy went That's and rooted right. through the temple or through the temple kitchen while she was getting her That's secret right. sash? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it's been a little over a week now. Well, he had the apples in there too. Yeah, you have apples in there as well. I don't know how good they were looking. Oh, yeah, they're probably bad too. <laughs> well, now I have everybody's some, been feeding off. Well, I was gonna say now that someone already gives me these berries. They yeah, right. Eat. Don't need them. Yeah, I don't need food, so I haven't used it. I can do it up to ten times a day. Yeah. So that helps. That's we can do up to ten of them a day. Yep. You still can't do it ten times. You can do ten berries a day. So it's not like you can do ten, 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 ten. You can do ten. So everybody's heading out. You toss your stuff. Some of the even though they are pretty gross, some of the uh, creatures that are in here they run over. They start grabbing up, eating like whatever they can get their hands on. They're starting to fight over it. They haven't eaten like like that. they probably haven't eaten in like years. Probably not for a while. So as you step out the um, turtle that you've been talking to, um, so you kind of come out, like we'll say if this is the room, you're coming out of this room, uh-huh. and you've already searched this room. So they point to this door over here, okay. and they said, that's the door that we all came out of. It was locked and we couldn't figure it out, but with all of us, we just, we, we pried it open. You know, thankfully we had some orcs, and there was even a Goliath, and we we were able to yank that door open. So as you, he says that, you can see that it's not all the way open, but there are two big sliding doors, and they're about wide enough for everybody to get through. Okay. And then you also have that one more door on the opposite side. Okay. okay. Well, do you want to search the door that's partially open where they came from, or the other fourth door? Partially open. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just so that we can also peek in and see if there's anything there. All right. All right. So you, you guys. Walk up to the door. Right over that door. Okay, so you're in front of the partially open door. Um, again, there's enough space to go through. Anything I'm, looking, that you want. I'm looking inside. You want to look in? All right, so give me a um, perception. Excuse me. Ooh, that's an 18. 18? Yes. Oh, wait, I'm proficient in that, so... 20. 20. So you peek your head in. And you're able to see it's it's a, this room is a lot bigger than the um, 
the ones that you're used to, the other ones were like, you know, your small labs and your offices and stuff like that. This is like a, a lab. It's, it's a very, very big room. And you're not sure what they are or what they do, but you can just see rows and rows of machines inside this building or inside this room. Okay. All right. So do you want to go in this one still? Now that we've looked in? You might as well. Okay. I don't see if there's anything there. All right. We'll head hey, into the Hey, maybe room. if the machines are still working, maybe if we can gather everybody in, or at least us, and then maybe we can get back in our own bodies. There's an idea. Okay. So everybody steps in. Um, again, very brightly lit. The rest of the party is able to see what, um, what what Flapjack was able to see, that there's all these um, all these different machines, and this room is very expansive, very huge. It's like there's rows of them, so you can, like, you know, walk in between the room, you know. Okay. Walk, you got a lot of area to cover. So. Okay. Um, on top of the machines, there's also, you guys can see, like, some regular desks like you've been seeing in the other room. Several computers. Um, some of the ones right up near the front are kind of knocked off the uh, off the uh, the tables. They're like on the ground, broken. You assume it's probably in their struggle to get out. They just knock shit over to like get out. Okay. okay. Um, I want to see if any of the machines work. Okay. So that would be investigating. Anybody else want to? Can I? It's trying to find out what the machines do. Yeah. I think we should do that. Um, so I can just start pounding stuff. You can stuff try up. a. That would be. Yeah, I think we should do that before I just start turning Let's stuff on. Go with like an investigation. Okay. Maybe. Um. Yeah, we'll do investigation first. All right. Uh, Twenty. Not Twenty. Not nah, okay. Cause... Um. So as you're walking through, kind of like the rows, you do come up against or up to a um, another desk, and there's a terminal there. In front of the terminal, like hanging off the desk, is another corpse. Okay. Um, lab coat and all that. He's like kind of like on the desk, like he's reaching for the terminal. His bottom half has been completely chewed, like eaten away. Okay. Like, there's no body. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And the computer terminal is on. Okay. So. So then I would try. I'll try the computer terminal. Okay. Um, we'll just roll that in. No, we'll, we'll roll that into your because okay. that's what. So you go up and um. You see that. There is a, um, there is a couple of different things on the screen. There are, there is a, an internal memo, like the rest of them. And then there is a, um, a tab that says, um, subject files. And then there's another one that says, um, (coughs) um, sequence initiation. Okay. Those are the three options you have on the screen. All right, I'll click on the memo again first just to get more information from the okay. ones you've had. So this one reads um, internal memo 01122 or 0125, and it says, um, if this is the end for me, then I need to get this out. These weren't volunteers. That man that approached me, Draken, he kidnaps them. I shouldn't have agreed, but these subjects are fascinating. I've never seen these physiologically, these genomes, these DNA sequences. I had to research them. Well, it seems my fate is fitting then. The bugs got into the systems and kept mutating, and they began to, um, they began to take on the traits of the DNA sequences that we had stored in the system and from the samples, and um, that's where it ends. Okay. Um. All right, so after reading that, make sure everyone else comes over, call you guys over if okay. you haven't followed me already. No, nope. so Rosemary flies over. Guys, by the way, uh, something's over here. Um, found a terminal and another dead guy. Ignore the dead guy. It's half of them. Oh, see, so he's kind of a little chewed on. Okay, not the important part. Sure, sure, he's chewed on, but less important. Uh, it's possible. better not have been But anyway, on this terminal, I've got a couple things. I got information first from like a memo. Um, figured, you know let you guys know of seems like there's the Draken's been here as well. I believe he's the guy we're trying to look for. Yeah. Yes. Um <clears throat> so yeah, apparently he's the one who's been bringing that. He's been the one who's been bringing these subjects they've mentioned before here that are interesting. Um and it says here that whatever they were doing, the bugs mutated in the system and then got other DNA they mixed with. So um 
just want to report, fill you guys in, try not to keep things from you about this Draken character. Uh, it seems like he's made his way here as well. Um, um, I think we should look at the other ones because there's more. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'll look at what's coming up here next. I just wanted to bring you guys over since it seemed to have found important stuff. So as you finish explaining that to them before you're able to continue in the, in the, uh, the system, you, uh, everybody give me um, perce perception checks. So as you're explaining this, um, everybody's listening, but Rosemary off to the side, she starts to hear like a scuttling sound. Okay. Um, guys, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I mean, this is great. We have to deal with this character again. Um, but I hear a noise back this way, and she points farther down the row. Now that you guys are closer, you can see the majority of these machines are like pods. Okay. And with doors on them, the majority of them are um, open. And there's a red light on top. Five of them, however, in these rows, the doors are still shut with a green light on top. And the scuttling sound that Rosemary hears is farther down the rows. Okay. okay. Well, that's not good. Something probably escaped. I can go check. Okay. Has the I'll highest go with health and I'll go with. Okay. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna hang out here. So you guys are, are going. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna still look at the next. Thing okay, so you're going through the. Uh, yeah. You want to? Okay. So we'll start with. Um, All right, you guys can check out. Let us know if there's something. We'll come over. Yeah, well, I'm gonna look here. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna hang out. You know, you, we shouldn't split the party too far. But I'll hang out with Kaimos. You know, since we are ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're better equipped to defend ourselves a little better. And hopefully, if it's a roach, then we can get switched back. Hopefully. Maybe. So, we'll start with, with us. Okay. So, what do you, there's the two more tabs. There's the, um, the subject files, and then there's a sequence initiator. Subject files. Is my name. Okay. So, you click on that, and it comes up with a list of, um, we'll say 50 um, just subject files, and most, most of them um, say inactive next to them. It's basically like a number, like you would imagine, like one, you know, numbers the pods. Mm -hmm. And it has a little thing on them that say inactive. The five that are still open, they do have, you, you're able to get into their, or the ones that are still shut with the green lights, you're yeah. able to get into those files. And those are. Oh, information. <clears throat> While I read this, do you want them to do their part? Do you want yeah, if you want. So you start to go through the files and you're like, you know, being a sorcerer in the arcane arts, like your you know, knowledge is your thing. You know, the more you know. And we don't know he's even good. And yeah, that you guys. So as you guys go, you come to the end of that row, and you kind of turn the corner, and in front of you are two more of the small roaches. They're about the size of the dog, mm -hmm. and then next to that, or in between them, is one huge one about four times their size. So it's like okay. huge. It Jesus sees you. Christ. They do their hiss. Don't say that. Sorry. They do their hiss. We're out of the range of that. So you two make those uh, con 15 con saves. So roll your, your 20. You got to do a con constitution save. Not one, not one. No. I want to, yeah, I don't want to pass. I mean, I want two. With all of you, with constitution. Aha, uh -huh, five. With all of your constitution. Uh -huh. You only have a plus one constitution. Let's see. Oh, plus five. one. Plus proficiency. Oh, I got a five. Seven. So seven. Five. Five. So you both fail. You feel that all too familiar brain ripping feeling. And the next thing you know, you've switched. Yes. So you're back in your own bodies. Thank goodness. And they see you. So they're going to come up, and we're going to roll initiative, cool. them three and you two, because we aren't there. Yep. No one said anything. So nope. nope. So they're here. We're going to give put them here, here, and here. And let's go. I don't. You 
can put you and Medusa where you want. Jack, where would you like to be? Uh, I'll be in the middle. I'll see you're a little bit of ways uh, from yeah. them, so I'll like, be right there. we'll put you guys there, and we're like you know over here. Yeah. I'm okay. back with my body, cockroaches. You are <laughs> doomed, bitches. So roll initiative. What? So I was. I was no, no, no. We're over here. The two of us are over here with the machine. Cool. They're down and around the corner. Nat 20, baby. We hear the hiss. Okay. So, but we don't have time to get to them before this would start. So, <laughs> well, that's one. Uh, so, give me one second to switch over to the notebook. Mm-mm. And then we will uh, we'll roll our own. Did you roll Medusa as well? I got a nine. Remember, she gets her own initiative order. She's with you. Jack got a nine. Yeah, I got a six plus, I got a six plus three, so... Okay. You have a plus three in your shit? Huh? Cool. I can't do so that. Oh, I think it's because we leveled. So, Jack got a nine. Jess got a what? I got a 23. Jess got a 23. Medusa got. Uh, I heard what it's Yeah, you need her. Yeah, you'll need her sheet. Six. Six? And then. Couldn't be many. Queen. Somewhere. I think I found it. Yeah, well, somebody found it for you. Okay, so no matter what our initiative order, well, no, I gotta do it that way. Okay, so, Griffin goes first, followed by the large one, so blue. Medusa and Pink both got six, so we'll give Medusa next. And then Pink, and then Lime, because it got a one. So then whenever, if, if we join that battle, we'll roll our initiative to see which of us would go into, because we'll be at the end after them, because we're coming in, we'll just see which of us. Gotcha. Okay. So Griffin's up first. Flying V! <laughs> you don't want to, go ahead, whatever you want to do. Oh, well, first I want to tell her you said that on her. Do I have to say that loud? It's a mental link, so you can either verbalize it or you can, it's like a telepathic link. Or just when I get to her turn, I can be like, this is what I want you to no, do. No, you have to, you have to turn. command her on your turn. Okay. So that when her turn rolls around, she does whatever you told her to do. All right, so I'm going to command Medusa mentally to bite. I can let her choose. Yeah, no, you got it. You got it. Tell her. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna bite the lime green. The lime green one. Okay, so she'll be doing that. Okay. Now note. Save the best for last. All right. Let me look at this moon too, because as you guys are doing that, um, you're yeah. search. You're doing the research as you're researching. Rosemary's kind of peeking over your shoulder. Yeah. She's behind you, peeking over your shoulder, reading about it and all that. And then we hear the, the hissing sound. Yep. What do you want to do? I guess we'll go help him out. This is why we don't split up. <laughs> I know. So we head out, and yep. we come around the corner, and we see the three of them posted up. Okay. And across from them is the two regular ones, and we see this giant, huge okay. mama looking like... Huge rose. Yep, okay. so we'll go ahead and we'll do our initiative a while while she's reading. Nice for you to join us. Oh, Sorry. You walked off. Hey, we're back in our own bodies now. So hey, yeah. The initiative is just what we roll, right? The, the yeah, like, yeah, that and then whatever your initiative is. So oh, 18 then. 18. Yeah, this is really... Okay, I'm going to keep that out because the moon sickle is going to take me some getting used to. I got 22, so I'll go, I'll be going after the line one and then you'll be last. Right. Okay. We all fully healed, right? No. The one no, short rested or long rested up in that last room. I'm fully healed. No, I meant... Well, whoever, if anybody had damage, they still have that damage because when we were, you know, when we left, nobody short rested or long rested, so... While we're waiting in our initiative order, um, if you want to, I'll, I'll say you can take a free action to take a potion if you want. I'm if you, if anybody, because I'm still fully healed. I think you're the only one that took damage in that. I'll take or no, I'm, I have damage too. Medusa has damage, that's why I asked. 
Uh, I'll take a potion. All right. I'll do one of my d6s. Yeah, I'll do a d6. If you have any questions, let well, me know. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Just, all right. Let me, let me do my... Six plus three slashing. Yep, and then it gets a plus two bonus to its attack and damage rolls again with it made with it. Against undead. Okay. Sorry so, about that. No, that's okay. So it wouldn't do a plus two. Not to them. So to like them. Okay, got a it. zombie, a vampire, yep. a lich, okay, something got like it, that. Got it, got it, got My apologies. Again, okay, I write the I write this shit really. No, like you're good. Everybody's in bed. I'm gonna try <laughs> the moon sickle. Alrighty. Against? Mine. Alrighty. Okay. So. Would that be dex? Yeah. Okay. And you are proficient in it because it's made out of, it's a simple weapon and it is made out of a claw so you can use it because it's not metal. Okay. So Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen on line? Yes. That'll hit. Okay. So you so grow and you swipe in and you kind of like Hook into it with the, the sickle. Roll your damage. Okay. Oh, all right. So seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. And then it rolls a. And then uh, yeah, it has to roll a percentile roll. Ten percent chance. Twenty-five. So it, it passes. Okay. All right, and then it is Mama's turn. So it's a big cockroach. It's like four or five times the size gotcha. of the already oversized ones. Yep, yep. So it's going to slither out into here, up to Medusa, because she's up front. And it does, it's huge, so it's taking yeah. up two spaces. Yep. So technically, it could go for either. But it's going to look at Medusa. And it is going to, it rears back and tries to lunge to bite at Medusa. So it tries to bite at her, and Medusa is able to like nimbly maneuver out of the way, and it misses. Flapjack, you're up, and you got the big mama right in front of you. I'm gonna hit it with my titanium Lego sword. All right. So you go to swing for the sword and like you're like kind of freaked out by how big this thing is. You go to swipe at it and, and you miss. It's too big, it rears back. It's it's rearing back from its attack on Medusa as you're trying to swing. So it kind of like whiffs in front of it. And is now Medusa's turn. And you told her to attack? Yeah, so I told she's, her to attack the line. So she goes up and that puts it in. So this right here is the back wall. So this okay. is all the farther you guys are gonna be able to go. Okay. So that puts it in a flanking position for her to get an advantage. Right. Do I, I had the plus four to that, right? Plus four to hit. 
Yes, so you roll and then that's its modifier. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ. Eleven. Eleven on the line one. Yeah. Um, Do you have advantage? Yeah, you have an advantage because it's flat. Okay. Doesn't matter. That's a six. Six? So she goes <laughs> to try to bite it and it like hisses at her and moves out of the way. Not 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 the screamy like flip yeah. around hiss, just like a <clears throat> get away from me hiss. Yeah. Pink one's up. And come over here. That puts you at a disadvantage. Well, I know exactly where I'm going to move. That one's going to fail. Straight 16. Or no, 19. 19. Oh, that hits. Darn it. That hits. So. Oh, I forgot. 2, 3, 4. You're good. We can help you out. Yeah, we'll help you out. Somebody could help me out, please, by but let me borrow six. Thank you. Uh, can you use the rainbow one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points of damage. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're good. Can I borrow one of those? Because I'm gonna need. Yeah, you can. Just I was gonna say I was gonna. I'm gonna need. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Forty-four. And it is Rose's turn. So, let's bring it on at 60 feet. Rose, Mary is going to use her cantrip, Told the Dead, on the line one. So I point at a creature that I see within range, and the sound of uh, church bells fill the air. Target has to make a wisdom saving throw, so it has to be 13. Eight, so it fails. So it takes one d8 of necrotic damage, and nope, because it's missing health, it takes a 12 instead. So it gets one d12 of, of necrotic damage. Four. So Lime takes four damage after all of that. Oh, we'll just pass it over. I'll uh, pass it over. Because right. so. I need my spell after. Okay, well, we'll just pass it around the table. So it takes another four damage. And it is Kaimos' turn. Um, I am going to use... That's your um that's your fighting style that you picked in the very beginning. That gives you some of your bonuses. Uh, Remember you could have picked like two handed weapon uh, or dueling or Yeah, because I picked one handed because of my shield. Alright. I am going to try the Tasha's mind whip on the big Big Mama. Yep. Okay. You'll have um, to remind me. So I lash out physically at the one creature within range. It has to make an intelligent saving throw. Hmm. Yeah, I'm laughing because they ain't got it. <laughs> um, 
Oh, if it fails, it takes 3d6 psychic damage, and it can't take a reaction until its next turn. And on its next turn, it can only choose whether it gets to move, take an action, or take a bonus action. Oh, it can only do one. Okay. Yeah. So it needs to make a wisdom throw? Uh, which intelligence. Is intelligence. What's your spell save? Uh, 14. 14? 14? I have it down here. Okay. Wow. No. Uh, 16 minus 4 is 12. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they have minus 4 intelligence. So it, it fails. Okay. So then... Sort of reaction things it can't, it can't yeah. take a reaction. Yeah. Okay. So top of the round, we're back up to Griffin. Okay. What did you get my turn? Nope. Nope, you're after. Oh, that's right. We're gonna dual dagger that bitch. Which one? The other one. Oh, one. Sorry. So yeah. they got they, uh, she, her, and Medusa kind of got got him cornered up. We got a thing going on. Back in the corner there. So when we do a critical and you double the damage, you're only doubling what you roll. So you double what you roll, then add, add your modifier on top okay. of that. Okay. So 13 then. So 13 to yeah. the line one. Yep. All right. And I also told you to do bite. So next turn, reduce will bite him. Okay, so you that. go and you like, bam, bam, two nice good blows right into its back for 13, you said? Yep. Okay. And it is the blue one's turn. She is going to bypass you Thank and God. say this is the border, yeah. so we'll go here. Wait, technically now that's four. So that's its move. That That's its move? That's right, that can only, so it moved and it's done because you have it, right. you did the mind. That's, move. it's not like, it would have to, kind of must have to be here. There, yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought, because you're back there and then. Not no, because there's no space. Oh. So it's Flapjack's turn. I don't know if I'm going to use my... Sorry. Maybe we chop that shit. Oh, no, no, you're good. I'm glad you reminded me. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> glad you reminded me. I heard you getting ready, like, and it's... So I was like, no, no. Nope. That was you're it. absolutely right. No, no it's, it's not. You are correct. I'm going to use that stuff. Maybe we chop a chip cookie ring? You're going to use a cookie ring. Ooh. That's not in your memory, Jack. That's in your bag. Oh, yeah, that's why I just realized yep. that. Good memory. That's in her bag, yep. Yeah. I'll just... I'm a fighter. I need those bills. You do something like this. I'm just. I'm such like a dual dagger person. Oh yeah. I'm I'm just, hey, that's fun. We're and I love spells. And I'm in the back shooting at either shooting or spell. You know, I'm it tiny. Is. I'm squishy. I was throwing this. Most uh. I right. found it. You found it. All right. Okay, a plain gold band with a small cookie on top. When worn, you get the following effect. Up to three times a day, you can summon a giant cookie disc. You may take a dex attack roll on one, on a hit. It deals 2d4 plus level times strength. strength to an opponent. Okay, so who are you using it on? <laughs> you got pink it. right next to you. Uh, you got the big one behind you, and you got the line one in the corner. I'm gonna go for the big one. The big one, same yeah. turn. All right. Well, I'm not, so I guess yeah. a little close. I, wouldn't, I mean, we're right. So you need to make a roll using your dex modifier. So you, you're, 
your ring, the cookie just starts to grow and grow and grow, and you got a nice big disc, and you Captain Planet launch it, and you're just able to smack it in the back of the head. So go ahead and, and give us your damage. I don't think it's now. It's, yeah, it's not that. <laughs> uh, 2d4. 2d4. <laughs> D20. I'm good. I, no. I mean, it's probably going to get close to that when you times the, the his, what, three strength and all that into it and the uh, level. Four and, and three. So four and three. So that's seven plus your level. Four. So that makes uh, it. Eleven. Eleven. Now times that by your strength modifier. Oh shit. I was gonna, yeah. <laughs> Thirty-three. 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 Jesus. Dead. No, I'm just kidding. No? So you, you smack it in the back with a cookie ring and <laughs> kissing and everything. And it's it, it, it took a pretty good blow to the back of the head. Hopefully it's got some brain damage. And it is now Medusa's turn, and you have her bite. Yep. The line one. Had her buddy. Excuse me. <laughs> I remember. Jesus. What? Twelve. She's the home. Twelve total? Yeah. So she tries to bite again and it, it she misses. Okay, well, listen here. Not so like it's the pink right. one's turn. And while you're not paying attention, technically. This is a sneak attack because you're not paying attention. It gives her advantage. It gives it advantage on that roll. No. I hit the rolls the same, not spending. Which says. That's a 12. 12 or 15. I'm at 17. So neither one hit. Thank God. And then it's the line one's turn. And it's going to move out of this corner. Oh, great. Come up here. Oh, flanked. And well, look at it is you, sir. Too. I figured. Technically, yeah, I mean, technically, because mm -hmm. you too. So it has advantage on its roll. 19. Wait, it has an advantage on roll on who? You, because Eight. here and here, you. Big girl, and it. Oh, just because it's touching? I thought when I was in front of both of them, it didn't count. Like. Oh no, you are in front of both. Never mind. Well, it rolled the nineteen first. Anyway. That's fine. So I just was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't yeah, want to add this. I'll say I'm um, this as we go. Yeah. That so the nineteen hits. hits. Oh yeah. So two d four and the two d six. Daddy, you're dropping everything. Well, I have a lot of stuff over here. That's why I talked about the bigger. So that. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm just happy I've only took a little bit of damage. Um, Alright. Yeah, it's Rose's turn. I know, I'm just trying to get over my near death. Oh. Yeah, so you um, you take some pretty good... Um, you're, you're standing there and, and it comes up. Gets a good chunk mm -hmm. out of your leg. And the uh, the radiation damage, you're feeling a little nauseous. Like you're not sick, you just kind of got like a nauseous yeah. feeling. So Rose's turn. What did you do? Yup it. Yeah. Trash. Pretty good. Yeah, mine one came out of the corner. Got tired of being almost bit. Yeah, now it's flanked and I'm flanked too. Because you see, that's Tyler and then I'm yeah. flanked by the pink no, line. Stupid line. Couldn't take the heat. Got out of the kitchen. Hmm. So, Rosemary's gonna flitter over here, away from the big guy. She's going to. Oh, so they're in five feet of each other. So, they both need. I'm gonna use. She's going to use her acid splash. So she's gonna throw the bubble of acid because they're close enough together. They both have to make a deck save, or they'll both take 1d6 of damage. So I'll give that back to you. Wait, me and me and Tyler? No. Big oh, girl and Lyle. No, because she's aiming at them, and it's, I can only pick two creatures, so I'm not going to pick you. I'm going to pick the two. Oh, thank God. So they both need to make... Well, what I was saying is, like, when it splashes, if anything... They need to both... Uh, no, she can... 
I know because you're you're, you're just far five. enough out of out of the five foot range because of where I'm aiming it. So they both need to make well, that was a, a deck saves. Yeah, they're deck saves against mine, which is a thirteen. And they both make it. So somehow they're both able to dodge the big bubble of acid that comes down on them, and it's Kynos' turn. All right. I am going to move back over to this corner okay. to get away from people. Awesome. Um, and I am going to attack the big one with my Ray of Frost. Okay. Um, so with that, I need to make a ranged spell attack mm -hmm. against the target. I think I forgot what my question oh, okay. A nat 20. A nat 20, alright. Yep, you definitely hit. Alright, and so then it takes 1d8 cold damage. Okay. And then you'll double that. Okay. Two. Two damage. So you blast a nice, um, a nice good, like it's true, and it hits square in the back. Um, unfortunately, with its size and the fact that it's a roach, its carapace has that nice, like, thick kind of shell armor to it. So it, it, it gets a little bit of a chill, but it's not a lot to uh, not enough to affect it. I forgot it's the I third had time I rolled that one. <laughs> forgot I had critical. Yes, if you roll a nineteen, that's a critical. Can I roll a one or a two like, every time <laughs> I have that D eight? I want to get up to higher. Well, I've tried with this one. <sighs> just, it, I've tried it with both my D eight. I just need to roll one for D. Okay. I'm going to use Wither and Bloom okay. on these two. I'm, I'm going to tell Medusa. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to mentally tell Medusa to go after the green one. But I, mean, that's like, but I can bet it. That's it. Yeah, she can move on her turn now. Wither and Bloom. Um, so I invoke both life and death upon a 10 foot radius sphere um, of creatures. Each creature of your choice in that area. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, 10 foot sphere, so 5, 10. So, like, this is the sh sphere. Mm -hmm. And you get to choose which ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just going after them. You're avoiding her and him. Okay. Huh? Cool. Oh. Can, he, can he come in it? Because. Well, no, so you have. So it's a 10 foot sphere. So you're here. So, so you have the whole back wall. The whole you can't get back here. area. And then so you have okay, to pick so what? Each creature of your choice in that area must so, make a con save, okay. taking 2d6 necrotic damage on a success. There's no vegetation, so whatever. In addition, one creature of your choice in that area can spend one of its unused hit dice and regain health, equal to the roll, plus my spell casting modifier. Okay, so you have Jack and Medusa in that same range. So right. either one of them can use one of their hit dice. She doesn't have hit dice because she's not a full... Okay. Creature. So Jack, have he lost any health? He has, yeah. So he could use one of his hit dice to gain some health. Yeah. So it'd be one of his hit dice plus your what modifier? My spell casting modifier. All right. Well, let's start with the damage first. So these two need to well, make con save. Roll. Oh, you have to roll. Okay. No. Right. no they make saves. You're right. right. They make. Con yeah, they save. have to make saves. So what's your what's the save? Fourteen. So they have to beat a fourteen. A nat one. A nat one. Okay. So Lime doesn't make it. But um, twenty two. Mm -hmm. So big. She she's okay. Lime takes the damage. Yeah, I'm already dead. So. All right. So go ahead and roll that two d six. Seven. Okay. So it's uh, it's kind of like you know the like starting to like crumble up, mm -hmm. starting to feel like it's dying inside from the you know that, and then if you want to give him the ability to use a hit dice. Yes. So, so D10. a D10, right? Plus he your, doesn't use four. No, he, you said one. He can use a... Yep, one of its unused hit dice. Yep, so you use one of your, your one tens. Of these, yeah. Yep, so that plus what's your con? My spellcasting modifier. Oh, your spellcasting modifier. Yeah. Which is just attack with spell? No, uh, it's whatever you it's use this. for your... Yeah. Two plus it's it's your, Yeah, what's your... So, six. So, no, it's just the modifier that you use. Oh. So, four. Because wisdom. Usual, yeah, your wis wisdom is your spells? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so, so you roll that and then add four to it, you gain that much health back. Okay, good. You so get you get four. four health back. We'll take what we can get here. So, so you, I'm at 48. You got it. Okay. Nice. And then on the back of that, it is now Big Mom 
last turn. Oh no! She is going to turn her attention to the person that tried to make her not feeling so well. She kind of, if she could smirk as a rope, she would be smirking. Sixteen. Fourteen. So she tries to, to pay you back, and she is unable to. She kind of tries to bite at you, and doesn't isn't quite able to. That little bit of frost that hit her in the back kind of jammed up her neck a little bit. Yeah. Isn't able to, to quite get a bite. Flat back, back, you're up. Two damage. Back in my own body, bitch. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to move over to where Rosemary is, like next to her. Okay. Because I don't want to be like that anymore. Okay. Fair enough. Now what? All of your, almost all of your weapons are out of range now, though. Except for one. Throwing stars. How many of them you got left? <laughs> I know I used one. I have four. Okay. And no proficiency on that. Go ahead and give me a dex roll. Well, I'm trying to check for it. Okay. Yeah, take your time. I want to throw a shoe at that. If you if you want to throw your shoe at shoe at it, throw a shoe at it. <laughs> All right, so give me the same thing. Give me a dex uh, dex attack. Well, it'll probably eat it. Well, that doesn't help. Uh, your dex. Six. So you try to chuck a shoe at it, and it lands right next to it, and just kind of looks and is like, whatever. So you got to you'll go ahead and erase that. Erase oh your, no. Erase your shoe. That was your turn. I don't even remember where you got that shoe. I don't either. I think she got off a of dead remember. body. That's probably about accurate. Medusa's turn. All right. Well, we said she's gonna bite. Green. Oh, what is her forty? Oh, so yeah, she's gonna get. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm using this one. Screw the other ones. I'm actually gonna look over this. And no, much better than that. Oh, I forgot I had that parchment. Thirteen. She is barely, just barely able to grab onto its, uh, catch it in the side with with her jaws. So go ahead and roll, roll damage. Uh, eight. Eight total. Yes. Yeah. So she gets a good bite on it, and she uh, snaps it in half. It's dead. Damn right she does. That's my girl. Good so girl. Comes through in a pinch. Oh, it's a good girl. So it is Pink's no, turn next, wagon. and she's not happy that her 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 friend got bit in half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and four. Thirteen. Thir no. So it tries to get some revenge and does, you know too too distracted, too distraught, and doesn't make it. So it is Rosemary's turn. And it's flying. And it is flight now, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and shoot it. It's actually flight by three people. It is. Which one you use them? My flintlock pistol. Oh, you need to get to use your laundry list. No, I haven't used it yet. You're right. Nine. That's X. Probably have to use that on the big one. Thirteen. That would hit, but I have advantage because it's flint. Let's go for a twenty. Six. We'll go with the nine. <laughs> so, barely able to fire off a shot. So Rosemary is able to fire off a shot, and that is 1d8 plus 2. 4, 5 damage, which is the first damage that thing's taken. So she gets a, she, she shoots a nice, nice little hole in the side of it, makes it through the armor a little bit. And I need to... Shoot, somebody else did with their arrows. Kind of system. Wait, right. so where we're at now, isn't there like a bunch of storage rooms where they have a bunch of ammo? Not that we lab. found. It's a science lab. Not that we found. Uh, Alright, I'm still going to stay back here. I like my little area back yeah, up here. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to attack the pink one with my Bray of Frost again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's... So, 18. Yep, that hits. Oh, yeah. I think it's a D8. Yeah. Five. Five damage. Five cold damage. Oh. So,
So you, um, you're able to fire that ray from across the room. You feel a chill in the air as it goes across. And um, it hits kind of right in around that same, um, same area of, of its back that, that Rosemary just put a hole in. Well, it didn't explode, too. No, it did not explode. Oh, that's nice to Yeah. Top of the round, Griffin's turn. Medusa, you're going to attack the pink one. We're going to find V, the mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So they have to take a deck save. A DC this. 15 deck save. I love how this, 16. How, I love how the last time she used this, it just destroyed a whole cockroach. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't have cockroach. Well, that's the same thing this time. Because of that. Nope. So you, you go to launch your ducks at it, and because of its size, it's able to dodge away from them. And it is her turn. She's going to move up on Medusa. She saw one of her babies get bit in half. Good. She's not thrilled oh, no. with that. Now Medusa's flying. But as Jack pointed out, she is flanked. Twelve. Thirteen. So she tries, and she's unable to exact vengeance at this time. Flapjack, you are up. Well, I'm gonna hit the pink one with a frying pan. Okay. Fair enough. To its credit, it too was flanked because Medusa and I are right there. Okay, so roll on attack. Proficient. Okay, I got a one. Okay, roll again. Yep, you got yep, you're you got advantage. Roll again. Seven. Plus your strength. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus your proficiency. Plus two. Twelve. So you you swing at that at, at the uh, the roach and it is just able to duck under the weights. Able to squeeze down and you just barely graze past it. I'm gonna use that again next time. Medusa. Wait, I have second. I have that thing that I can do a bonus action. Oh, wait, yeah, well, yeah, you do. You have action surge. I want to use that. You want to use that, so you get to take one more action. So what do you want to do? I am going to try to hit it with my lighter sword this time. Okay. Because that's Good should be able to do more yep. damage. Hey, I got 15 this time. Plus. I'm trying to roll for a nap 20. Yeah. yeah, you still have the advantage because it's still fun. Still counts. That, that's a crit, yep. Yeah, you got a 19 in crit for you. Yes! So roll your damage and double. Okay. Nice so job. 1d10. Why do you use that action surge? Flapjack. Action surge and a, and a crit. Nice. Way to go, bro. Okay, so okay. take that and then double it. 12. Okay, and then the plus whatever. That's uh, plus two. So, 14? Yep. So, you missed the first time, and you're not having it, so you swell up, and you're like, nope, 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 and you just reach around and just <laughs> stab into it with a <laughs> yeah. spike, and that was 14? I used my 14. Sword. sword. I used my sword. Oh, you used the sword, so you come down and just drive into the back of it, and it's not dead, but it's it's hurting pretty bad, starting to lose blood. What color was it? Is it, uh, I was going to say, is it green? Now it's Medusa's turn. So you might take bottom. out another one of these little bitches. I mean, she, she can. You're so proud of yourself. Yeah. That was a good... That was take a good point move. of inspiration. Yeah. Take so an inspiration point. I got ten on the first one. Because I almost forgot I had that. I was like, wait, I still ten have that. on the first one? And then a twenty-two on the second one. Twenty-two will hit. I really almost forgot that I had my uh, my action surge. Yeah, that was smart. That's why I always simply take the time and it's other people will be kind of going and we're talking and just look over your sheet. So she has we the more stuff we collect and the more skills that we get as we level up. Nine. Nine total. So she goes and takes a, a bite out of it and she uh, she actually bites a couple of its legs off. Ew. And it's uh it's kind of laying on the floor and it's hurting pretty bad. So it's going to take its turn. It's going to skitter with what legs that it has left. And it's going to go over in here just to get out of everybody's way. 
too far away to attack anybody. It's just kind of nursing its wounds. So now we're back to Rose. Well, I'm boss. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so, she's going to turn and look at Big Mama there. And she's going to use her blood that, that worked pretty well for my guess. That worked really well. I think she only missed like one. 19. It's a good luck weapon. Like 25. Hey, you haven't used that in a long time. So, she definitely hits. So, it's a 1d10 plus 2. For 3 damage. <laughs> so, she fires off a big shot, kind of kicks back a little bit. Sorry, hits it solid in the side, but again, it's a big, it's big. It's got, you know, it's, it's fairly solid. I'm surprised that she, uh, I'm surprised Rosemary didn't go crashing into the wall. <laughs> Well, she's not mean, quite at the wall. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. A big weapon. You're right. Cosmos' turn. All right, I'm going to use my boom ball on paint. Rock on. Light it on fire. Wait, I have some oil. Can I throw that on there really quick? Eleven is all I have. All I have is eleven. You have an eleven. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll say no just because oh. you, you said it after he already rolled oh, the attack. Sure. So just keep that in mind, though. On my next turn, I'll throw some oil. Yeah. Close enough. So eleven total did yeah. hit. Okay, so yeah, no, that that doesn't hit. So you kick it and it launches up over it, hits the floor, kind of bounces back. Like it watches it go over and hit the floor, bounce back up, come back to roach, you. I bet the roach is like, wait, how did that just happen? <laughs> Top wait, wait, why, why did that just go back to him? Up to you. I'm quite confused. Hmm. And I'm Alright, I'm gonna shoot my bow at Pink. Okay. I think you're you're out of fire arrows, right? Yeah, okay. I love that. That's what I was looking at. <laughs> you have 100 arrows, though. Yeah. 98, thank you. Yeah, I used to. Anyway, I tried it. Um, after I got one. Uh, I actually got one of mine. Well, shit. I'm not gonna hit. Round four without yeah. anything else. Your decks and your proficiency. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. No so you launch, you, you, you let one go, and it flies just over it and it thunks into one of the machines. And so it's stuck in one of the machines. The big mama and Roach is probably going to look at it and just start eating it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 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 yeah. yeah Medusa is going to try big mama here. She's going to try to bite her? Yeah. Okay, well, it's her turn. And since yeah. Medusa's right there. Yeah. Thirteen? Eighteen? Yeah, thirteen, yeah. So it hits for Oh, this is the first time that it's gotten it. Hit. Yeah. Two D six. And one I need two more D eight. I mean I have health potions. You somehow really lucked out there. <laughs> 6, 11, 12, 13, 14. You want to keep that 6? Oh, yeah. I'll give these back. Yeah. Yeah. So she uh, bites down and she chomp. She's gnawing on, on one of Medusa's bones. Flapjack's turn. Okay, that's it. Take one. You're going to get it. All right. Okay. I'm going to use my bow Melee weapon? Uh, I'm gonna hit with my. I'll get a sword. Well, my, she's my got good yeah, so Where do you want to be? Around, right in front of it. Right in front of it? Yeah. Okay, so right there. Because it's against the wall and nothing can go behind it. So I can't flunk me. Didn't say that was the oh, wall. I yeah. said that's the wall. Remember, this is a big room. You guys came in and around the corner. corner. So, like, it goes this way. This is where we came this from when we time. came in. So there's room over here, uh, there's room over, this is the back wall back there. Yeah, but you're still in front of it, technically. Yeah. I want to use my action to take again. Uh, how many times can you use that? Uh, I don't think I would work that way. I think that's in, I think it's in the two. Yeah, page two. You can push it off beyond your own, it's once per short or long route. Dang it. So you've used it. So you used it already. So 
Take a swipe at that that brooch, and you take its head clean off. It's done. Oh Lord! And it's gone. Oh, so now goodness. it we are down to Big Mama, and it's Medusa's turn. Okay, well she's gonna try to bite her. Alright. Revenge. So 19, 20, 20, 22, 23. You hit, or she hits. So she yanks her leg out of its mouth and she bites back and takes <laughs> one off. So it's still pretty good, but it, it's hurting. She's hurt. It is Rose's turn. I'm aware. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, I, I, see see it. It. I see I see. Actually, I might need that first. Okay. Okay. So I might. Uh, yeah, actually, I, would, I can't remember what that does. So wait, wait, why don't you try your green sword thing? My green flame blade. Yeah. It works better if there's two next to each other because I can get a little. I can make the blades jump off. Oh. Hmm. So I Rosemary is going to use it insinuation on it. I unleash a torrent of conflicting desires in its mind. Impairing its ability to make decisions. It has to make a wisdom saving throw or be incapacitated. And at the end of each of its turn, it takes 1d12 psychic damage and has to try to make the save again. Okay? Oh, look at it. So we'll start with the wisdom save. So it needs to beat a uh, I think 13. I'll turn into, uh, oh, what's his name from Man Um, the one that's always yawning. Which be? I feel like I'm turning into him now. Okay, we. Which it makes, so it, it, it's able to shake it off. It's apparently too much of a simple-minded creature to have the complex thoughts for that to work. <laughs> so that was my turn, and it's Kaimos' turn. All right, I'm going to use my Mind Sliver. Ooh. Uh, so it needs to be make an intellect saving throw of 14. Well, it, uh, Dang it. Uh, <laughs> seven. Um, so then I think I roll a d6. Mine is over its second to last. One that we have. Sorry. It's okay. No, second after that. But you need one d6. One d6. And then... I believe from what it says, correct me if I'm wrong, I would try it this is, one. Jan, I'll this one. Um, because I succeeded, mm -hmm. any of its saving throws from now on, okay. it has to subtract a 1d4. Okay. Yeah. Until the end of my next turn. Okay. So I do two so damage. Two damage. So it um, feels a little odd. You know, it's, its brain is starting to like melt. A little bit it's hurting it got tried to get confused by this one it's getting confused by you it's a little yeah. kind of off kilter so we're at the top of the round for griffin okay, okay well my cure wounds doesn't work on undead creatures nope so medusa's leaving <laughs> so you're gonna have her go off yep okay I'm her go well you gotta wait till her turn oh oh <laughs> Flank, since you're technically behind it, that's a sneak yeah. attack, it would be advantage anyway. So, either way, you got advantage on it. Okay. Good, because that let me go and shit. Five, six, 
So you come in and start, you, you're able to come in from behind and it's not expecting that. You are able to slice off a few of its legs, so it's off kilter, it's bleeding in multiple spots. It's big and bulky, so it's, it's sturdy and it's got that good armor, but it, it's starting to fade pretty good. Um, and it's now its turn. It's going to turn to you. Okay. 11. 16. Nope. So it's tries to go and bite you because it's missing a couple of legs, it goes off balance and just kind of topples over. So, Flop Jack's turn. Well, I'm gonna go over to uh, that big one. Okay. And, um, remember Medusa's leaving. Yeah, so I'll go where Medusa's going. Well, well you can't go there until uh, yeah. she's gone. So you can go here, 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 here. I'll go next to Anjas. So right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that still count as a sneak attack? Did it turn? No, it turned. It turned. Uh, so now Medusa's behind it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I would it's still like, flanked because Medusa's yeah. back there. Um, I'm going to use my Lego sword again. Okay. Because that's one of my stronger weapons. Mm -hmm. And that's an act 100. Roll damage. And two in a row! Roll damage. What is this? So you get a really good swipe in, and it's missing a couple more legs and a nice chunk out of its armor as oh. you come in and swipe and blip, and it's it's looking pretty pretty bad. As is my pencil load. <laughs> Medusa's turn. And she run, she's gone. She runs, so she's like back in the machines, like hiding and stuff. Yep. Okay. Because she is. Ooh. I can give her all portion. Okay, so Rose's turn. Her. And I'm also going to give her a good turn. I can give her a health boost. Hmm. She did not look at so hot. I will give her a good turn. It worked on the dragon. She's going to fly up to it, get up close and personal. She's just going to punch it. Because <laughs> why not? Does she have her things her, spun? She takes a bonus action to spin her rings around. I just, I would that would have sucked. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, it still would have done like an unarmed, like, blood. Like, yeah. you can do like regular fist attack. It would just do even less than it already is on that. Yeah, so she spins the rings around. That hit me. That hurt. <laughs> I think I took some damage. 18. Take damage? No, I thought it was fine. Yeah, well, I did too, that's why. <laughs> so she hits, so it's a d4 plus 2. 3 damage. So she stabs into it, and yanks it out, and it like drops. It's not quite there. It's really, really woozy. It is literally on its last leg. Kaimos is up. Okay. Now, remind me with cantrips. Can I use them twice in a row? That's why they're just, they're just easy peasy, like no frill spells, basically. I just, I just want to make sure. I yeah, we had that wrong. Yeah, we had that, that wrong that one time. Sure. And, yeah. Okay. I think um, you guys actually corrected me on that. Uh, so I will use my boom ball then. All right. What is uh, five? I'm not total, but if I would actually do it, it's a. So you go to kick it, and there's just you're not quite sure where to aim it, just because there's so many people in around. You don't want to risk hurting anybody, so you're a little hesitant on it, and it hits and bounces and it misses. Top of the round, we're up to Griffin. I'm just happy I didn't hit it. Dad, can't no. It all. Moon sickle. Moon sickle. Oh. I'm just happy you didn't take my pancake at all. Nope. Twenty-four. Yep, that'll hit. Okay, I'm gonna try to roll for net. Okay. Didn't get it. Okay, got four. 
So, 1d6. Five. So in the words of Matt Mercer, how do you want to do this? Well, so I'm going to take my moon sickle and I'm going to aim for his head because he or she, whatever it is, has really damaged my dog and that pissed me the fuck off. So I'm going to lob his fucking head off. I have these as kids friendly on YouTube, so we have okay. to watch the curse. <laughs> So you reach down and arc off, and you come in at its neck, and the, you use the, the the curve of the sickle to hook, and just whoosh, yep. and it's completely decapitated, and we are ropeless. Oh, you're going to make Chris have to go in and edit these. Nah, I'll just set that one for not. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> it's going to be rough for me. Nah. Just remember. Right. So, you find... As you search through the ichor oh, yeah. okay. of its body, you find 300 of those bottle caps that we've been finding. Has it been eating them? Oh, wow. It's been eating whatever it can get its hands on. It's worth oh, the bottle caps. caps. You yeah, you have not collected them. No, you collect them no, for me. Right here. No, for me. How uh, many? 300 of them. Look how many bottle caps I have. I, I, you, I can't because of the way you have Well, I mean, can you? It's at the bottom. Oh, nice. 300, so, 335. So you find 300 of those. You find two health potions, this, the D6 ones. The weak sauce ones. They're not really weak sauce, they help me. Okay. You find a tattered lab coat, which we'll say that's worth about 10 silver. And you find a couple of finger bones. You said ten silver. Ten silver. And then okay. finger bones will say they're worth a couple of copper. Got some metatarsals in there. Yeah. No, I'm gonna keep those. All right. She can actually Sorry. probably make a dagger out of that. And and one cheese. copper each. Three copper. Three for the whole bones. I mean like for the whole pile. Oh, however three many you have for the bones. Yeah. She could technically make daggers out of that now. Because she can't use metal. No, she can't. You're right. Yeah, and she had, and her sickle is made out of some sort of claw. So, so everybody, you want to reconvene in the room? Are you calling Medusa back? Yeah, Medusa's going to come back because I need to give her a coach. Okay. So as she comes back, she comes toddling up to Flapjack. She's kind of like bonded with him a little bit. She knows that you guys are in the same... Mm -hmm. it, not in that body anymore, but because yeah. you spent time in the body, she kind of gets connected to him. Mm -hmm. And she's got a ball in her mouth. It's she goes up to, to Flapjack and she like she wants to play fetch. Aww. So she drops it in front of, of Flapjack. Medusa, yeah. where'd you get that ball? Oh, that so the ball that she drops, the, it's half red, the bottom half is white, and there's an odd button on it. So what'd you find, dude? What'd she hand you? Pokeball. It's Pikachu inside of it. Boy. A red and white po Pokeball. A red and white ball with a button on the front. You want to push it the button? It contains a strange yellow creature. Yes, I do. So you push the button, and out in front of you pops. Lily looks up at you. Pika, Pika. <laughs> Pikachu. I and it looks up, and it sees that you're holding the ball. So instinctually, it, it feels a connection to you because you have the ball. Thunderbolt, range of 60 feet, 
1d12 plus 6 lightning damage. Oh, wait, dude. How much health does it have? That's what floored me. 56. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a little tank. And <laughs> I'm not making that up. No, that's no, I found it. it. I rolled it. That's what it rolled. It's a little tank. <laughs> so, the way Pikachu is going to work, um, it's honestly, it's up to you if you want to keep it in the ball all the time. Um, you can put it, you can take a free action to let it out, bring it in. While it's out, it works like Medusa. You have that mental length. You take a free action on your turn to tell it what to do on its turn. If it's out, when we go into a fight, it'll get rolled into our initiative. If it's not, and you call it out, we'll add it to the bottom. When its health drops to zero, like in the games, it automatically doesn't die. It goes back in the ball, and you have to heal it. It doesn't have short rest hit dice like Medusa. Well, you have to heal it. And what? it act, can, does it work with regular health potions? Yes, a health potion will work like on it like it does with Medusa. So, everybody's laying around. You've got a Pikachu. It's mm -hmm. out right now. And I it's kind of hanging out with you. Medusa's looking at it, sniffing at it. I hope they become like a mouse. <laughs> it, it is a mouse. You're right. Um, hey, Pikachu's a mouse, Medusa. They call it an electric They're the mouse. electric mouse Pokemon, yep. Well, I don't know about y'all, I'm going to use a couple of my hit dice. Um, I'm going to use my one of my D8s, because I have three D8s and a D6, because I'm multi-classed. So, three, I use no, a D8 to gain some happy. health. Is it a short rest for you? No, yeah, so I'm going to do a short, so short rest, um, again, is something that I found out. What, short rests are really, like, they can they can be as short as like 10, 15 minutes, as long as you don't. Sorry, that okay. was empty. Oh, I'm glad it was empty. A little bit better. This is why I need okay, another good. one. <laughs> or just a whole room. <laughs> so, four, four so I'm back at full health. Okay. So, if anybody else, while I'm taking this 15 minutes to just chill, catch my breath. I'm we just had a big old fight. I'll take a short uh, rest. I'm well. going to do that too so I can get the full of jewel. Medusa's getting a health fungus, a heart fungus potion. Nice. Can I? Uh, I also want one. to give Pikachu something. And a health potion. Yeah, you can use yeah you can you can you use however many dice you have left. So I just use one. So technically, right now I have three left. And is that okay? The long rest you have so many. You yeah, and then once you long rest, they reset. Um. So what I actually want to do is I want it's on the you and the least something. Good berry. Okay, so you cast good berry. You cast two. All right, so you give them each one. They're both Pika, very... Pika, 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 Pikachu! It's lightning. Its cheeks kind of glow a little bit. It, it is very much enjoying you being its trainer. Did and Medusa, Medusa has... Medusa? Yep. But he gave one to Medusa. And what does it do? It's the, it gives it a one health back, and then, it, and then it's she's full for the next 24 hours. Okay, one health. And that's what I need to know. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> one, one health per berry, basically. I mean, I would just spam it until I run out, but... I'm also going to use another fish. Okay. Girls, are you hungry? Sure, while you're handing them out, I'd appreciate that, Jack. Thanks, bud. Good job there with that, that stabbing in the vet. That was awesome. You guys, you. that was awesome, dude. That blender boss worked really well. Uh, I'm getting used to it. I just, that was my first time really getting to use it, so... Uh, I gotta work on that kickback, man. I will probably fly like backwards a little bit when you shoot it. That's not a bad idea. These ones are. This one was working really well for me. Yeah, that's smart. And then the, it wasn't the, the, the spec, well, Yeah, the speckle set did some pretty good rolls for me. And you. then I got like two D twenties, two twenties in a row. Reduce your all oh, good bro. Alright. Used two, but that's a. Hey. Pikachu, come back. You put it back in the ball? Mm -hmm. Alright, well then, hang on to that until you I call it back out again. Put it in here. Whatever, yeah, you put it in there, and then, yeah, that's a good a good idea. Either in there or the, your other dice's bag. Yeah, put it in the bag. It. Well, hang on to it for now until we're, we're done, done. But then when you pack up, yeah, that's a good bag. idea to hold on to. Or I can put it in here with all of our. Yeah. With all of our, one? hold on. Yep. Then when we're done, I'll put it in here with all of our, our, uh, our little guys. I actually put. I actually got this in movie theater. Mhm. Mm yeah. When you gave it to me, I knew that we were gonna like either have they were gonna come in somewhere, and I knew Pikachu was your favorite, so I, it's he's been sitting here until the time to use him. 
So we're uh, we're hanging out. Um, haven't really too much explored this room. So when I um, and then there's still a room well, that we haven't still checked out. I was gonna say, well, while we're resting. Oh you, yeah, hey. Um, now that we're done, do you want to go back and um, before since we before we were so rudely interrupted, yeah. do you want to go back and, and check out these? Uh, I'll go with. You're coming along? Yeah. Yeah. Can go back there, all right? And I'm tossing the ball up. Well, like, well, like. Are you doing a motion set? <laughs> no, no, when I just, I like, toss it up, catch it, put it Ah, I got you. Like, like a little, like little trick. trick shot. Gotcha. Yeah, but he's, he, well, he's out of it right now. So then. Does he put him back in the ball? Did you put him in the ball or yeah. is he out of the ball? Well, he's out of the ball, toss it up. Oh, so you did like a flip, go, boom, like. Yeah. Okay. Like cool. A trick. I won't even make you roll for that because that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look cool. All right. Um, so we go back to that same terminal. Yep. I'm guessing it's still unlocked. Like it's still open. Um, that so sign is uh, still like uh, half, <laughs> half dead. Now we know why he's half eaten. Yeah. Clearly, sure. we know he why why he's her. missing yeah. half his body. Um, and I think we found some of his fingers, or those were his toes. Oh, yeah. They were fingers, but they uh, they're somebody's fingers. I found somebody's fingers. Um, oh yeah. So in the in this uh, uh, subject files. There's these five files we have. Some of the other ones are inactive, so I can't see them. But um, so they have these five different subjects. So basically, the pink card would be what you're yeah, reading. Yeah, you're yeah. reading on the screen, and then obviously this the stat sheets are there, and we'll get to that. So there's this thing. It's it says on here test subject 098 Dampier. Uh, its initial interview with subject had it lay claim to be a Dampier, apparently the mythological vampire, yet one that walks in daylight. Test confirmed, no damage from sun exposure, more tests needed. The next test subject, test subject number three, uh, called human, average human subject, the real shock came to us in the form of several creatures stored in small balls, yeah, further research needed. Close. Yeah, it's a Pokemon trainer. Um, so, I don't have this. You have, maybe? Maybe. Test subject 072, uh, pumpkin. Test subject has appearance of a scarecrow with a flaming jack o' lantern for a head. Miraculously, it is alive and capable of speech, seemed childlike in nature, and very curious. And then the next one is, is test subject 017, Urkin. Test subject initial interview had the short green skinned creature claimed to be an extraterrestrial. Further probing revealed they are a warmongering race enslaving planet after planet. Invader, it's not Zim, but Invader Zim. They're Urkins, so it's it's an Urkin. Uh, test subject 042, Mini Fig. Test subject appears to be large, yellow, living plastic. X ray detects a full circulatory system, despite how implausible that may seem. Further study needed. If we find this dude, I want okay. to have him. Well, so so it looks like, so this is what said the, the test subjects section. Um, but it looks like here that there's some sort of activation thing or sequence activation that's the next thing. So, I'm so if anybody wants to give, like, if you, you want to give an intelligence, anybody want to give yeah. an intelligence? Now that he's read that off, yeah. if everybody wants to. Like, Hold on. I'm going to look at the card, at the key card, and see if there's, like, a little number, if there's any numbers that we can type in there. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure it's locked, right? What's locked? The the last one. The ter- Oh, the, um. The last part the, of the, the sequence. The sequence initiator? Go ahead while we uh while we do intelligence checks. Well, I'm gonna roll to see if I can see it. Eight, thirteen. So that was perception. Ten. So I'm sure you probably already like um, yeah, yeah, but so Rosemary pipes up. Well, it sounds like I guess there's five of these files, five open unopened pods. I'm assuming that they're in here. Oh yeah, that guy's green. Can you uh, see inside the box? Yeah, they have like a little window in them. Okay. So like Rosemary flitters over one and peeks up. Yeah, this is a yellow dude over here. We have we gotta see if we can let them out. Hopefully they won't hurt us. Well what did you what did you roll on yours? I got a three. So what would that be like perception? Uh yeah, we'll go with perception. Yeah, perception. Uh plus two, so five. Five. So you look at the card and it doesn't look any different from you don't see anything different from the last time you found it. It's the guy's picture, X twelve research facility, Dr. Hugh Morris. And then the magnetic strip on the back that you used to swipe. I love that name. It's funny. It's both funny and a bone joke. So. I don't get it. Your humorous, humorous is this bone here. Your humorous bone. It's your bone. That's doctor. why they call it your funny bone. Oh my god. 
So, I mean, what do we want to do? We, we, we're we still kind of stuck in here, guys. I mean, we still have a room that we haven't looked at yet. I'm wondering, though, this, this machine, it almost seems like this is where they came in. I wonder if we could switch with them. So this is you guys' chance. If you wanted to switch characters, you have options if you wanted to go into a new yep. body. I want to do minifigure, but then I'm not going to have all my stuff. No, because if, if you look, they have full they have sheets. Full They're sheets. different races. They're yeah, different classes. Like, well, can I see the minifigure? Yeah. To see yeah. What yeah. All yeah, so like you... I just know. I'm so, going to keep Kaimo. Like yeah, so Kaimo steps off to the side and Flapjack starts to... Starts digging around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm sure you. yeah, I know what they are, so I'll just sit them here. So I'm actually go. Can I like put some of my stuff in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you look though, it's going to be a whole different class. I it's going to be different races. Your skills are going to change. Your. So this is your chance to like kind of reset your character if you want it. Um, no pressure to, no pressure not to. This is just an option that's there for anybody. Okay, I'm going to switch. You're I, gonna, yeah, I'm You're going to become a minifigure? Just be walking around. Okay, so <laughs> let me see the minifigure uh, page. Can I have your frying? No, it's metal. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can tech it now. So you're going to be a jester? So I'm letting card. you know, just so you know, because I have all this stuff saved for anybody that wants to pick it. This Jester class is extremely spell heavy. It's like almost on par with Kaimos. It's like almost all spells. So I'm not saying trying to dissuade you, but you picked a fighter because you didn't want to go through all that. Can I save that in here? What? That that sheets. And the, I'll sheets. have these. Okay. Like I'm not gonna toss them. They'll, yeah, like, I'm we'll not gonna do that. I'll have to think a little more okay, about you think, that. Well, you think about that. Because I want to use more magic. Okay. But, so you like, have I some time. Have okay. Some weapons. Okay. So you can always be an option too, flashback. Yeah, that's the other. If, if yeah, if you know, like if you have to make dogs. a new character. Remember, that's why I said I was making spare characters in case somebody dies they have options so even if you don't pick it now if something happens to him or you know maybe down the line we have to like do like a b plot you know what i mean like our part you know like whatever there's pre-made options you know what i mean i have uh, i know i'm listening but this is kind of off topic i think this would be hilarious so technically if i do turn into a minifigure would my Pokeball turn into a mini Pokeball? Like a Lego one? No, all, all your stuff would just be... Like, if you were to switch bodies, your body would then be empty, because uh, these are all sitting in the pods empty, and you would be in the minifigure body with all of its skills and its attacks and whatever its class, and then you got an empty body with all of your old stuff sitting there. Like I said, you don't have to. It's an option. Like... Like Aunt Jess said, if something happens to Flapjack, it's sitting there. I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm going to change. You're going to change? Okay. So then, later on, you and I are going to have to really sit down, like, tomorrow, because you're going to have... I didn't... Like, you have certain things, but if you're going with a Jester, you're going to be a level 5 Jester, we are going to have to sit down, you're going to have to pick out all of your spells... You know, anything new, you're going to have, you know, whatever. Another thing to think about, and again, I'm not trying to dissuade you. I just want you, and I know I'm doing a lot of metagaming right here, but this is a big choice and this is new for you. You just got Pikachu. Pikachu knows Flapjack. Oh. So if you switch and you pull him out, he might not know you're you. So okay, that might I'm cause absolutely issues. Absolutely stay. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, I don't want to dissuade you either way, but there's a lot that goes into this. This isn't an easy decision. That's why it takes so much took so much time to make these. Yes, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. And Remember, like, actions have consequences. And I, even though I do want to be a minifigure, then I can't. Then I technically can go back to uh, the Legoland place. Where well, I'm not not right now because well, we don't have a way like there. I do. All right. No, I got you. That's the and other I don't thing. want to go back there. That's the other thing. You started this campaign. You're trying to find all your other pancake friends. True. So, so again, I'm not trying to tell you yes or no. I'm just giving you 
this is a lot, okay? I'm saying and that would go for, you know, Kaimos. Yeah. You know, like yeah. if Kaimos would switch and he would run into more um, Tiefling, they might not recognize him. You know, if you, you know, if Rosemary runs into some of her fairy friends and she's now a pumpkin or an urkin, they're not going to recognize, you know what I mean? So there's consequences to all your, your decisions. So you're, you're staying with this for now? Well, we're not done here. Should you change your mind, you let me know. But for now, so we, I'll take my step back. Go ahead. All right. Well, we're not changing at all here. Uh, which no, I don't want to. Um, Heck no. No, I'm fine where I'm at. I'm good. Some of these sound cool, but I like my wings. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too hot to switch out with it again. <laughs> and then you might have the same problem when Medusa recognize you. Yeah. I'm just switching, and I don't want to be, and I don't, and I don't wasn't even a here. question. Those and I'd rather those be, those and I'd rather huh? be switching. Those are good, like, See, I'm also running the risk of um, get if I get wet. But who cares? I'm in a pancake. You guys can always remake me. That's you right. got some glass armor kind of semi-protecting you. Yeah. Actually, Maybe you're lucky you didn't, you didn't switch because I'd have eaten you. <laughs> She'd have eaten that dead body. Empty <laughs> body. Can't <laughs> go to waste. <laughs> pancakes! So, oh, you're in this big... You're not pancakes. So you you're are, in, so we're still in this big lab. Um, um, you're my big friend. cockroach is done. There's still that one room that we haven't checked yet. I think we, we should check. We still have a portal to find. We still have a stone to find. Yep. I would say go to the. With, is there any? There were desks in this room. That's desks true. and all sorts of other equipment. Yep. I'm like to search your yeah. desks. I'm gonna search while Pikachu come out. <laughs> you okay. pop Pikachu out. All right. So pop him out, and he'll bring him over here with us. Investigation check. And then, yep, do your investigation check. And if you want to have Pikachu looking around, you can roll yeah. on his, but you'll need his seven. his paper too. I will. Roll seven. Uh, I will make seven. seven. Twenty one. Uh, I thought that was a one. So what was that? Investigation. Uh, investigation. Uh, excuse me. Thirteen. One, so that's come. that's your investigation one. Eight. eight. I'm gonna let Pikachu look around. Alright, yep. If you wanna like you said, if you want Medusa to sniff around too, she can make an investigation check. She's got I mean, all she this... did find the Pikachu, so she did yeah, she found the Pokeball, so she's clearly able to sniff stuff out. Well she doesn't have an investigation, so it would just be whatever she yeah. wants. Uh, yeah, I just didn't bother I mean you could fill those in if you want to. I just didn't bother okay. to, to do uh, that. Wait, investigation would be Pikachu intelligence. Got a three. Pikachu got a three? Yeah. So I mean he's like Pop that on the ball. He's pretty much focused on just following you. He will follow you wherever you may go. Can I can I tell him, like, go look around? Yeah. You know what I can actually let him do is I yeah, can look around and stuff. And since I'm, I have banana eyes and maybe a little blurry. And I'm maybe. Get syrup in my eyes, that could. Like, Pikachu, I mean, you were just syrup. in a fight. You might be leaking some syrup down in your eyes. You gotta be up. Yeah. So I can let him double check. Pikachu, after I look through something, you look through the, you look through it again. Okay. So we all just kind of gonna like spread out. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody so, kind of so. spreads out, and they're all kind of looking around. I only got an eleven. You and Medusa. We both got an eight. You both. So you eight. Jack, you got a three, right? Yes. And then Pikachu got a. No, Pikachu got the three. I got. Pikachu. I got an eight. Three and an eight. Twenty-one. Okay. So as we all, um, as we mm-hmm. all spread out, and everybody's just kind of taking up different corners of the room and looking around and things like that. Kind of, you come around the corner, and you come up to another bank of machines, and you see one machine that it's um it's shaped like it, it's all metal, but it is a metal arch with okay. a very familiar design. Okay. And at the top, where a stone, where normally we would place a stone, is a thin, flat rectangle to where the stone would be. None of us were all, you know, we don't see this. We're all in different parts yeah. of the room. You, Medusa, Pikachu, us? Flapjack. Yeah. So. Hey, guys, uh, I found this portal looking thing over here. It looks a lot like what it is, only stone this, or metal this time instead of stone. And Pikachu, come on. There's not really a. I'm, I'm running there. Oh, my little chubby legs. Flipping over. Uh, instead of it looks like where we would put like, our stones, it just is like this thin rectangles. Thing we could look see we could enter something. Like a glass of aisle? How about everybody Maybe. do a 
wisdom. Yikes. I'm also going to do a Pikachu. 19. Oh, no, Pikachu will be uh, in my glow in the dark. It's my best one. I get a freaking 8. Oh my god, Pikachu had a 20. Okay. Pika, 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 Pika. All right, and you got a what? Okay, I'm just saying that was fine then, and Pikachu got a 14. No, you got the 14, Pikachu got Wait, did you add the stuff in? He got a 20. So you you don't use your stuff, Jack. You use... No, he he got a 20 for you. What did you get with your wisdom? Pika, Pika. Uh, Pikachu got a... Not Listen, and I saw Dad or Pop. Pika. 16. Pika, B. So you, Pika, you got a 16, he got a nat 20, you got a, a 19. <laughs> so as so we're all kind of looking around and everybody's kind of like looking at it, at the same time it dawns on you, Pikachu comes tugging on you, Pika, Pika, and, yes. and the um, key card pops out of your pocket. Just as you're thinking, that looks like the size and the shape of the key card. Mm. So you pick it up and... Thank you. You, now that, are you gonna? Uh, yeah, you know, you know that and Pikachu dropped it, but okay. so you haven't said anything yet. So it looks like, I think, that could be the, the same thing we've been opening all these doors with. Um, that might be why Pikachu over there was pulling it off of you. Uh, but and technically, I would have it, because Griffin had it. True. Oh, that's oh. Right. well, then he comes so, over. Yeah. Here. So then he. Because. So he comes tugging over to you, like point, like. Mm-hmm. Almost like he just wants to play, like have fun, but he inadvertently it p- falls out of your pocket. Yeah. And then as soon as it falls, you see it, and yeah. the light bulb clicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one way to know for sure. Good Pikachu. I'm petting him you... on the head now. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put a petting Pikachu. Okay. On the I thought I was we were gonna say, do you want to check the other room first? Oh yeah, true. Yeah. I'm gonna try to put it in. Okay. Yeah, because that'll stay. No, like that. we can we can come back to it. I just want to see if it's gonna work. Once it eats it. No, it's like not like a slot card. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know, like like an in debt kind. Of, yeah. Like how the stones how they were yeah, like have, yep. Okay. Like so you click it into place. You hear a metallic hum, and you notice now that the portal there are tubes coming off of it that lead back farther into the room. You start hearing humming, and you see blue energy start coming through those tubes and up, lights up into the portal. Portal opens. So we found the portal. Pikachu? Okay, well, do you guys want to go explore the other room now that we know this works? I yeah. would. Hold on, let's ask Pikachu. Need that, uh, so Pikachu, yeah. you want to come? You're going to take it. So yeah. you pop okay. it back out, powers down, you see the you know the, the glow come out of the tube. So He, he wants to go to. He okay. want, Pikachu wants to go to? Well, he's going to fo- He's You're his trainer now, so yeah. wherever you go, he's following. But I until you t- unless you tell him to you know go away. Yeah, <laughs> you know I, I mean? should have been using this one all along. Maybe, I mean, <laughs> the first yeah. The time I rolled this, he got a point. <laughs> You got a 19 though. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was good too. You got a couple 20s too. All, All right. right. So what are we doing? Walking over to Walk the room. Walking over to the room. the room we haven't explored yet. Okay. So we go back out. You all go back out. You're back in the uh, back into that big courtyard. Mm-hmm. Some of the uh, the other creatures that are there, they've been kind of like watching through the door, like they didn't want to get too close because obviously there was a big fight going on, but they were kind of watching. Wait. The uh, the turtle that you guys talked to before, he kind of wanders up. He's like, "What what happened? What we heard a bunch of calamity and commotion going on in there. What's what? Uh, you're all seem okay though." Yeah, we're okay. There was a um a massive cockroach in there. Oh, those the, the bugs. Yeah, the they, bugs. They, these guys when we came out here while we were waiting, they they all kind of told us what was going on. That these bugs are going on, and that's what was doing this to us apparently. Yeah. Yeah, they're, Seems they're like gone it. now. It's gone now. Oh, they're gone? Mm-hmm. At least the big one and two other ones. We oh, okay. Well, is, is there a way out that way? Or not? Not that, not that we saw. Oh, okay, well, we, we saw a couple of them once that door opened up. I guess you came from the stairs. They went upstairs, so I guess... Do you, do you need anything from us? Or uh, you, no. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna go try that way then, and they all just start. Oh uh, wait, before you go, I have something for you. I give them. You have eight many... left or seven left because you gave one rosemary. Give... If that's what you're going for. I'll give them yeah. I'll give them five. You give who five? There's like fifty of them in this room. Well, they all can share. They uh, all can share fifty. Yeah. So so well, ten I people will marry. <laughs> so you're gonna chop it up and okay. Well, yeah. so you. Because I have we'll my titanium say... sword. 
Okay. So you're for now you're out of berries. You we'll, right. we'll say you handed them off to the turtle as like an offering. Be like, here, use these as you want. Thank thank you for for we'll do what we can with these, and they start filing up up the stairs. So the courtyard empties out, and there's that one empty room now. Right. Or one empty room, one unchecked room. Rather. Is there any um, plants in this courtyard? Just grass. It's grass and some okay. trees, like some cool. just like some your typical deciduous trees. Wait, she it's almost like somebody all... set this up to like mimic like a, a park or okay. or a, a meadow or something yep. like that. I was just seeing. She technically saw a cat. No, that's the bats. bats. Which we've already seen because oh, we saw Agnes. That's right. Um, and you already have the roaches down, probably. Yeah. So. We couldn't... They still seem like they were not in their correct bodies. No, but they're wandering off now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> yeah, really we forgot down. to tell them that there's machines in there that could fix them, but they're gone now. Okay. They'll figure it out. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright, we'll go to this other room. Okay. We haven't checked yet. Listen, we can't always remember everything. No. Look, people need to take care of themselves. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. They gotta learn somehow. All right? <laughs> they made it this far. I'm Rosemary, sure they'll be almost, fine. Rosemary, you almost died. Well, that's better than actually dying. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. <laughs> All right, yeah. so you guys go up into that uh, that one corner. Um, uh-huh. There is a I'm lock not, on the door. I'm actually gonna tell Pikachu to wait out here until I tell him to come in. So stay here for now. So you're gonna leave, you're gonna leave him outside yeah. of the room. Okay. Well, he'll be standing in the doorway. He'll be keeping. Oh, he'll be watch. in the do- so, yeah, so yeah, right outside the door. Watch, okay. And when I tell him to come in, he'll come in. Okay. Okay. Sure. Stay here until I tell you to come. All right. So you and pop it pops. open. Just sits down. Probably fall asleep in the grass. We should meet Loki at some point. I want to do that. Okay, so you pop horns. open the door, better horns. No, you and don't. as soon as you pop open the door, um, immediately you hear fluttering of wings and buzzing of wings, and the room, again, it's another one of these like lab offices, mostly trash, and there are two giant, they almost look like some sort of like wasp or whatever, bodies are blue, bright orange wings, and they... Um, see you, and they immediately become hostile. So, you open the door. This is my greatest fear. Can Has anybody gone the in the door? door? Shut? Good. Uh, I'm gonna go through the portal. I'll go in. You're going in? Okay. I'm gonna go wait in the portal room. You're going back into the portal room? Well, if the door's open. Like well, that door's still open. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the portal room. Are you taking Pikachu with you? Mm-hmm. Alright, so you two bomb off across the, the courtyard. You going in? I'm going in. I don't shy away from a fight, even if it you kills me. Literally. <laughs> I would try the blunderbuss. You're a little scared. I'm not scared, Lawrence. Actually, <laughs> I'm tired. You know what you should do? But you know what? Just to prove you wrong, let's go. Medusa and I are in. I was right. going to say, you should probably leave her. Oh, well, you ain't saying anything. You're uh, gone yeah, back. So you are now, until you decide to come back, you are... We're a man short. We need Medusa. Yeah. So, let me pull that up. I'm going to try to keep Pikachu alive as long as I can. Well, That's Pikachu really Medusa. won't die. Like I said, he hit zero. That's not true. So, you know how with us, we hit zero, we make death throws, and then we're dead dead if we go negative our health? If he gets negative his health, he will be dead. But if he hits zero... And, and doesn't hit that threshold, he'll automatically go back in the ball like in the games. And even so. if he is all low health, I can pull him And back. if he gets low, I send I send Drew. Yeah, you could take a take an action to pull him back. Yeah, remember well, that's a free action. Yes, it's a free action to make him move and, and all that. Uh, I gotta find it. Wasps. Yeah. I hate wasps. Bees, could it be bees? Bees is bees. You remember the Ah, there we go. The mosquito scene from the first Jumanji. Terrifying. Yes. Oh, yeah. These are the tractor jackers. Yeah, the monkeys, when we throw the knives at them. Tractor jackers. Tractor jackers. I hate so, those monkeys. Oh. They Jumanji don't want you to throw was, knives. Why was one still in the fridge? Jumanji was 
one of the scariest movies I saw. Was right? We well, actually yeah, have the movie. Yeah. We have we have Jumanji: Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah, so we don't have the original. Yeah, we do. We do not have the. We have the original Jumanji. Uh-huh. With Robin Maybe. Williams. Uh-huh. The one with Robin Williams. We have the one where not where they go into the video. Not not the rock no, and no, all no. that. No, we have it. It's in the same case. Oh, it's Jumanji. Oh, I didn't well, know they I'll were both right in back. there. <laughs> I'll be right back. I yeah. I, I mean, I believe you. If we're you're gonna go twice today. That happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're in the room. Um, we're gonna go ahead and roll our initiative. Right here, right here and then right here. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, there's the original. Yeah. All right. I was actually thinking about store. watching that. Huh? Yeah, that was the shoe store. Who? Kind of yeah. Robin Williams died. It was the shoe factory. Medusa rule higher than me. She goes before you. Huh. She goes before you, and she really won't be able to. She, her first turn, she won't be able to. Her okay. first turn, I guess, is technically up to me what she does. Okay. So, what she got? Not 20. Oh. <laughs> Plus her modifiers and <laughs> all that. 23. 23, you 22, that. I mean. 22, and you got? 18. Tyler? What do we do the. Which modifier do we use for this? Your initiative. Your initiative. Oh, initiative, sorry. I think we had four. Four? So what I'm actually doing right so, now is I'm as I'm wait I'm sitting down in the grass with Pikachu, and we're just oh, we're just playing. Oh, having a nice time for all of you now in the meadows. <laughs> well, he's trying to go tiptoe to through the tulips as we battle the crazy wasps. <laughs> actually, I'm taking a long rest right now. A long rest. So you're sleeping. Yes. Okay, so you're just napping under the tree while completely <laughs> under, <laughs> completely <laughs> oblivious to the the sounds of battle. Hey, that, okay, so, remember that, you just said you're sleeping, so you can't do anything now, okay? You're stuck. You're a spectator right now. Why not get in the case of anything? Listen to that. So it has, like, a harder case inside it. Oh, the mine has one of those, too. It's starting to, oh, yeah. It needs a new one. Sorry, Harry. Oh, I darn. That off. I don't know. If, I mean, he's gotten some water sun. damage and sun damage. I mean, that could probably get you a sticker from that guy, Harry. No, that's okay. So, so Medusa goes first. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's going to run right up to this one. Yeah. And I'll let you, because you got the sheet. I can't see any of that. So go ahead and roll. She's going to try to bite the green one. Well. Nope. So she tries to bite, and it flitters up in the air, and she misses. Next is Rose's turn. She is going to fire, she still has her rings out, by the way. She never switched them back from the last one, so they are still out as an option. And she's gonna go and fire at the pink one with her, just her flintlock. And she's going to miss terribly. Making Griffin's turn. Where is the back of the room? They're in the back. Okay. So it's a small room, so really this is it. So we'll just put these here as a reference point. We can put I can put that as a reference point, and then we'll lay that on top so you can reach it. And then that's the back wall, right, and then we're right inside. <laughs> Alright. Um. So you know what? No, because I'm lying to myself. We'll go.
We're going to wither and bloom. Okay. So both of those. Yep. And nobody's heal, so I won't bloom anybody. But yeah. I only resting. have 49. Of my yeah, you're resting, Jack, so you can go ahead and, and fully heal a while. I have 49 of my 51 if you feel generous. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm at full health. Here. All right. So they must make a con save. Okay. Which would be 14. Pink makes it. Uh, Lime does not. Okay. So Lime, 2d6. Okay. Necrotic. So four. Four damage to the Lime one? Yep. And okay. you can roll one hit dice. Okay, so, so if you have any left. I do, yeah. I okay. have two left. Plus one. your one plus her. So you know my wiz, wisdom. So five. Okay, so I get four health. So you um You're welcome, send Morris. out your 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 spell and you hit the one, um just for sake of brevity, so I don't have to keep calling. They're called Casadors. So you hit the uh the, the line the line Yep, yeah, line. Yeah, the line one. You hit the line one, it shrills a little bit and you can see like some of the flesh going from that blue to like a black as it's starting to decay. And necrotic damage. And the pink one's up next. Right. That's what they do. So it's going to move up one, so it's up to you. Mm -hmm. And it's going to try to sting you with its stinger. Mm -hmm. I didn't like what Chris just said. 12? 16. 16? So it goes to sting at you and um, Twelve. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it goes to sting at you. You already did the bad like the big bad for the, the so like this shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah. it does miss, so it tries to sting at you and it is unable to. Now it's the line one's turn, and since Medusa's staring right in front of it, it's gonna try to sting Medusa right on the top of her forehead. Well. 12. 13. So it I'm tries and it right past. Excuse me. Kamo's turn. Alright, um, I am going to attack Pink with my Ray of Frost. Okay. Um, so that is a attack roll. 13 plus my spell attack bonus plus 6, so 19. That'll hit. Alright, and then I do a six. Eight. Jack, could you do me a favor? Could you grab me um just grab me a cherry, please? Mm -hmm. I'm just a bottle of back there. It's empty. Uh huh. Oh, for about a one for a minor one. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. We were watching the, that critical role and because they started on Twitch, they do it live, they have a chat room. Mm -hmm. People in the chat were like sending them pizzas and stuff to the studio, and like they were That's delivering them pizza. Like they brought, they sent them like a veggie pizza, like three regular pizzas, and then like donuts and cakes, and like they're like, we don't need any more. Thank you, but we don't yeah. need any more food. I can't you eat anymore. I'll open it. You're right for us, bro. What? One, one, yeah. one, two. Which one? I'm sorry. Uh, was the pink one. So can't use my spells anymore. They just... So it um. It, uh, it gets hit in the face a little bit, and it's got a little bit of ice crystals kind of stuck to its face. Okay. We're back to the top of the round. It's Medusa's. Oh. And you didn't tell Medusa what to do on your turn. Mm -hmm. So she's off on her own. She's going to try to bite that line one again. Daddy, do you want me to open this for you? No, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, you're gonna well, you know, you're not napping. You're you took a long rest, okay. you're sleeping, you're out. Ten, she tries to bite and again it pops up, it's she meow misses. Rose's turn. We're gonna try to help Kainos out a little.
little bit. We'll root it out of your sleep yourself, but you know. So I'm gonna go with Toll the Dead. So I'm gonna try to Toll the Dead the line one in the corner, because it's within 60 feet. Um, bells start to fill the air, you hear the doom, 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 it needs to make a wisdom save. Which it does. So, again, it's too much of a simple creature, apparently. She's unable to, to do that. So, she's, that was her turn. Oh, so, wait, now I need my, my uh, action jersey again. So I'm taking what my action. Awake. What's your wake? Griffin's turn. Lame. Well, Lance didn't catch that. Yeah. Griffin is going to do a dagger because it went. So you, choo -choo, and you, uh, you get two nice jabs right into its side. It's the pink one's turn. It's gonna flitter up to you to get into range. Eighteen. Yep, that hit. All right. So. Damn. Dang. There we go. We're learning. damage. You couldn't just walk out the room and shut the doors? <clears throat> and you need to make a DC 13 constitution save. Boy, did he get strong? Uh, 19. 19, so you are, you are, so you take the damage and you, uh, you feel the sting and it's, it, it, it hurts, but you're mentally, with all your will, you're able to, to keep the poison from starting to spread through your body. The tracker tracker. So, top of the round again. Medusa's up. You might never say anything. Nope. So it's going to keep doing what it's doing. Oh, <laughs> Lord! She's got one track mine right now without your, uh, without your input. input. It's probably what I would tell her to do. Probably. Anyway, if I'm honest. Okay, well, 19. So that'll definitely hit, but let me try to roll for Nope. Okay. okay. Yep, she's able to, to clamp onto it. It tries to do its little trick where it floats up. She ain't having it this time. She gets a little extra hop, and she got gets it by a leg. Six. Six. So she manages to chomp down. She's a little bit and shaking it around, disorients it a little bit. Good girl. Rose's turn. I think we do some finding the tooth for me, Chutor, maybe. She's gonna come in back behind. So she is going to use, a, she's not, she's going to use her sneak attack. So once per turn, I can deal an extra 2d6 that I have advantage on. Thanks to being a rogue. So, gonna roll with my cutlass this time. Have you used that a lot? No, I have not. Because I'm so close. So I have the advantage, so 16, 18, so that would hit anyway. So. Thank God, because that's a one. So we'll take the 19. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to roll a 1d8 plus 2. And then we add another 2d6s to that. And then we double that because it's a manager. 5, 10, 12, 24. Right. That was on the pink. Gracious. Great balls of fire. So she comes up from behind and she's like done. De same as you. She's taking a cue from Griffin. She's done with all the fighting. We just fought a big roach. She wants to get out of here. So she just boom and she slices and dices. 
lobs off one of its wings, so it's kind of like <laughs> very, very off kilter and very fluttering around. Hopefully, thanks to the Griffin's turn. Into the wall. All right, okay. Griffin's turn. Medusa, keep doing what you're doing. She gonna go after you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna use the moon sickle in this boss. All right. Because I think it's fun. Cool. Why don't you try your ice knife? That's a spell, huh? Jess is like spells. I do. So 17. That's one of stronger ones. It is. Or, well, and that, they're both going to hit. Yep. So. One, two, six. You're on the, the line one, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, four. Okay. All total with the double one, so, okay. So you uh I, you, you don't double damage when they're flying, do you? You don't double. No, damage. no, 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 no. Yeah, so just no. four. Okay. So you were able to get like a nice like little like it's got a little trail of blood coming out of the side of it, it's oozing this nice like blackish icker blood. Yes. And it is the pink's turn. And it has this. Move though. Oh, of course he makes it move. So. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the one that's missing missing the wing? Yeah, he, he hobbled over there. Kind of like still flying, just hitting on the floor. Yeah, it's like. Have you ever seen a bee, like when you smack a bee and it's like mm-hmm. bouncing to, to move? And Jess obviously has, because she thinks it's funny. <laughs> he used to smack him with our flip flops. So it's going to go to attack you. You wouldn't do it to me as you did it to Wasps. 21? Yeah, I'll hit. Okay, so Rosemary is going to use a reaction to cast Silvery Barbs. Okay. So she's going to throw a taunt out at it, okay. causing it to, forcing it to re roll. Okay. Eighteen still hits. Okay. However, I choose a different creature that I can see, and I'm going to choose Kaimos. You have advantage on your next attack, ability, or saving throw within the next minute, which is roughly a turn or two of combat. So within the next round, you have advantage on one throw of your choice. It does still hit you though. Okay. So I'll turn this back over to whoever might need it. That could be whatever. It's any. And I'm gonna try using your troll on this one. It hit so what is it again? One the one D six and then the four D fours. Right. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Six, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty damage. And then you have to make that uh, 13 con save. Nope. So you are now poisoned. So you are now in a very weird situation where you were poisoned. So until the end of your, at the end of your next turn, you make another one of those con saves to be unpoisoned. Until you do, you have disadvantage on all of your rolls, but you have advantage on the next roll of your choice in the next minute because of Rosemary. So, so you just even out. I would say, tell me which one you want to take the advantage on, like whether it's your the, the attack, the save, whatever, and then the rest of them you'll have disadvantage on until you pass that check. Okay. Which um, it is, sorry? No, I don't know if it's my turn. Just to... That's what I'm trying to, that was pink, so it's the line one's turn. So okay. while we're doing line's turn, you think about how you want to play that. And the line one is going to turn its attention to Griffin. And does a 25 hit. Yeah. It does? Oh yeah, oh well, yeah. <laughs> that was too many dice. Oh well. Three, four, seven, ten. And then you gotta make that same con save. Thirteen with your con. <laughs> I got two. 
So <laughs> you two are poisoned, and you now have disadvantage until you pass that check at the end of your turns. It is Kaimos' turn. Um, this is worse than the big bad fight. Jesus. Yeah, it's not always good. Uh, I'll say I died fighting vampire teddies. Yeah. <laughs> and a mimic as a toy chest. Exactly. All right, I am going to do magic missile. Okay. Um, all three at... All three at the pink one. Okay. And it says, I create three darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of my choice that you see in range. The dart does. So is there any save or any... No. Okay. So you just launch them. Okay. Now, you can use that advantage roll that I gave you on your con save. Okay. Yeah, you know, because that, it's, it's a save throw. So okay. you, you could use... If that's what you choose yeah, to I'll use it on, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've only got one more round to use it before it goes away. Right, that's um, four, four, five. Ten. But I get a plus. It says each star does a 1d4 plus one. Okay. So I'm just kind of, I'm adding a plus one into each one. So it's 13? Yeah. Okay. So 13 on the pink one. So the pink one is um, it's the one that's missing the wing. So it's it's looking pretty gnarly. It's sinking lower and lower to the floor. So now before you end your turn, your con save got to be a thirteen. Uh, eighteen. All right. So you're no longer poisoned. Okay. And you still have that advantage roll for we'll say one more turn before okay. that minute's up. Top of the round, Medusa. And I believe you did tell her to attack. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I believe verbatim. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, it doesn't matter. She got me, so. Oh, she he's fine. 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 Fifteen. Don't hit. <sighs> yep. Barely. She's just able to grab it. Oh. Tries to do its little floaty up trick. She, she knows that. That's where that one trap mod there comes in handy. Six on the line. Has she done all the damage to the line? Yep. Pretty much. Actually, yeah. Hey. Rose's turn. Maybe this. Okay. Nah. No, we're gonna shoot at the. Uh, we're gonna shoot at the pink one. So. So she hits. Ten damage. So she fires a shot off at the uh, the Cazador as it's staring you in the face. You're looking right at it, and you just see a bullet go right through its head, and boom, it's done. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Griffin's turn. And remember, you're still poisoned. You have disadvantage on all your rolls. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm going to dual dagger him. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, no, I'm not. You have disadvantage, so you roll twice, take the lower. I know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, man. And that one's the lower, so. So, you miss. You uh, go for your daggers, but that poison that's kind of coursing through your eyes are a little blurry, so you you, you miss. So yep, make oh, your thirteen. Yep, your thirteen. I'm on left. Oh wait. Plus your con. Fourteen. So you you miss because your eyes are a little blurry, and then once you do, you're like wiping away and like refocused up, and, and you're 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 ready. <laughs> it's, now the, it's now the line one's turn. She's going to flitter around behind Rosemary, which is going to give her an advantage on Rosemary. Twelve. Twenty-one. So that hits. That would be an equal opportunity attacking the end. That's how I got myself killed. <laughs> Fourteen. So 
14 damage. Now I need to make con save. What's my <laughs> my constitution zero? That's right. That's my dump stat. Ah, 12. <laughs> so just barely doesn't make it. She's now poisoned. So she's got disadvantage. Kynos' turn. Alright, I will move over. I'm starting to feel year. anger at myself for not being there. Well, this is becoming a, a, a pattern with you. Um, over here so I can hit the kick my boom ball. Nice. Uh, nine. Yes, you beat the last eleven. eleven. What? You beat the Yeah, you, you beat, beat the last eleven. So you're both. Oh, I have advantage. Yes, you still have it. This is the last turn you'll be yeah. able to use that before it goes away. Nope, didn't help. No? 11 was the highest I got. 11, so nope, you go to kick the ball and it bounces out of, bounces into the corner of the room and you gotta like quickly grab it because it goes wild being in the corner. Top of the round, Medusa. You didn't give her anything to do, nope. I know, it's triple. Or eight. Neither one. So because it's kind of like there's too many people in the way, she can't really get through to make a bite. So Rose's turn. She is going to use her movement to get out of the way. And she's going to try to fire a shot with disadvantage. Why not try the blunderbuss? That's, she's trying to shot. Either, yeah, I mean, either way, I still have to shoot, shoot it. It's He's still, she is still poisoned. Sure, ma'am. Yeah, we'll try the one of us. That one's done like the lucky weapon like that. Not for me. 15. Eighteen, so that one hits but that one. So she goes to fire in the shot. She fires one off. Straight up through, and it lodges into the wall. Now I have to make my con save. And I don't. Four. Griffin's turn. Let's just hope you don't die again. I mean, even if you do, then she can heal you. I have the mercy berry that she found for me, too. It brings it back to life. It either, you can either eat it um, to mimic the effects of a long rest, or if you die, you can... Feed it. If a creature has died within 24 hours, you can feed it to that. Oh, I remember them. that. We got that last okay. one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Found it in the plant room. Dual daggers. Are you poisoned ever yet? Nope. No, she, she passed it last time. So, 19. Uh, okay. That'll hit. So you get in a couple of really good hits behind it, and um, you're able to slice off the top half of one of its wings, so it's kind of like buzzing in circles now. And Medusa, you're going to flank and attack the green. I think we got a flying goldfish now. And it is Lime's turn, and it's going to turn its attention to you because it doesn't feel like it's able to get anywhere. So it's going to turn its attention to you. 15? 16. So... <laughs> because of the wing, it's kind of like, eh, and it skips off to the side because it's not able to quite scoop in. Kynos is up. All right, I'm going to come over here. Actually, it's back a little bit. Uh, now I'll come here and flank it. Okay. Nope, not because we're just going to be there. Although I don't know that. So screw it. I'm going to flank. She's going to get mad because she can't do what she's just told to do. Um, it's the reach. He's can like, you use my, you use my uh, boom ball. Okay. Maybe if you're that close, you'll get it. No. Eleven. It's flanked. No. It's yeah. Oh, wait. Thirteen, technically. Thirteen still won't hit, but you get his flank. Eighteen. Eighteen, that will hit. So you kick that ball right in its stupid, waspy looking face. <laughs> Alright, so Wait, why does the soccer ball? Five look like plus that? six. Is it like made damage. out of like animal skin? Yeah, it's it's a ball made out of like some sort of I think it's in the description, it's like it's made out of some sort of hide. I'm uh, sorry. 
11 damage. 11 damage total. So you kick that ball in its face, and as you kick it, flame, you know, flashes up in its face, sets it aflame, it drops, and it's gone. I didn't ask you how you wanted to do it, I'm sorry. But you killed it. So, rooting around, you find 50 of the... You find 50 of those uh, barley caps. And you're able to take a poison sack off of one of them that's worth 10 gold. And that is all you find. Probably make you a poison potion with that. I don't know what you do with it, but... Uh, how much was the sack worth? 10 gold. Alright. And it's dead. So does anybody want to... So now that can we look around this room? Yep. You can. Now. in here and be a whole battle. For That's us. right. You sure can. There better be something in here. I'm so asleep. So. Eleven. Uh, Wait, is it perception or investigation? Investigation. Eleven. So, rooting around, um, as you look around, it is um, another fairly trashed room. There is another terminal that is uh, over in the corner. It is lit up. If somebody wants to go look, read that, I'll go read it. Wait, should and I be awake right now? No, you are asleep for the next eight hours. We are going to have to, if we're leaving, we're going to have to wake you up. You are dead to the world right now. Um, so, you go look at the terminal. And it says, um, internal memo 0119. Oh God, the bugs. The bugs are mutating. The subjects, they're. Oh God, just send help. Just like the other one. Yep. Same one. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry. I, that was the wrong one. This one was, what the hell are they doing upstairs? Roaches are crawling out of the vents and getting into the machinery down here. Don't they realize how sensitive this equipment is? And then, um... That's okay, we do things that were here. <laughs> and then with her 19, she finds three health potions. And that's pretty much all you're able to ascertain out of this room. Everything else, much like the other rooms, everything else is broken, trashed. She's actually going to, um, take those. She found two of those. And then, because she's hurting pretty bad, I'm going to take this time to use one of my fungus health potions anybody else wants to, you know, because there's nothing going on in here. It's a safe space right now. Yeah. Anybody else wants to, uh... Hey, while we're, um, chilling in here... Yes. Let's see. Come barking, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Six, twelve... Here's a slim pack for you. Twelve. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack and a stim pack for you. Oh, thank you. And because these were in my pack, I think Flapjack found them. And I'll have to give the other one to him when he is awake. Alright, so I got back 14 points of damage. And that puts me back up at full health. I'm just going to use the hit dice, I think. Okay. I have three of them left, but... uh, I still have my point of inspiration. You do? You do. So, I'll put this in my bag. Well, you don't really have a lot of stuff in your bag. Well, I... There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, I was the last person to join the party. Number two, since my character is more of like a support character while I DM, you know, I don't really look for really cool stuff for me. I'm trying to find more of the cool stuff for you guys. So, I don't want to seem like, you know, OPing myself or, yeah. There's no, I'm just going to call again. I keep forgetting to have it on. 
Mantle of Pentacles. Right. You can probably put that like down in here since it's right where you're yeah. that way every time you look at your forgot he had that. That's why Alright, well let's go get Flapjack. Alright. So we can go through the portal. Alright, so we step outside and he's Absolutely. sleeping under a tree. We all kinda Don't forget about Pikachu. Yeah, he's got Pikachu right there. When did you still wake him up? You awake, kid? Yeah. I think yeah. she likes that maple syrup. <laughs> Boysenberry flavor. <laughs> mm. Or no, Lin Lindenberry flavor. Lindenberry flavor. flavor. Here, here, kid. I got a stim pack. Remember you found those? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll give one to you. Thank you. You're welcome. I will put that in my bag. You have to make sure you write oh, it down. Oh, yeah, make sure I take some out. Oh. All right. All right, so this level is pretty much clear. There's no other like doorways, stairwells, anything like that, and we know where the portal is. Well, then let's go. Yeah. Jack, um, did, when you're done writing that, if you grab your pills real quick for me, please. This is a lot great. So what's up? What's we doing? That's enough. Thank you. I was getting to the other invitation. Okay, that's fine. Just a little bit. Alright, so what are we up to? Jack Jack or Five Jack's awake. Pikachu woke up with him, I would assume. Yes. Is he still out of the ball? Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he does that in the show, actually. Probably. Probably. I'm pretty sure. sure. I haven't seen you one time with him out and he wakes up like Pico, Pico. They just ended that finally. Yeah, this is the last, right? the last episode um, finally ended 25 years. Wow. Still 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so we've all reconvened in the courtyard under the tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys want to head through the portal? Or uh, let me just make sure I still have everything. Okay. Okay, then someone looted you. No, just to make sure that I didn't drop anything when I was sleeping. All right. Mm -hmm. I need to put that away. While he's looking, I'm going to use two of my health potions. Just okay. so. I still have my unstable banana. Me too. I'll never know when we're going to use that. Whatever you want to use it. Whatever you feel pertinent enough that you think you need to use it. Whenever you think you might be really in risk of dying. Okay, I'm all good. You're all, everybody's all good, so we're yep. heading out? Yep. yep. Alright, so everybody... Oh wait, we gotta put the key card in. Yep. Well, we're not there we're yet. We're not there yet. Uh, that's right. So everybody, excuse me, heads back into the room, winds their way back through the uh, pods, back into the uh, the little back alley that or of, of machinery that, that kind was found. Portal machine standing there. Pops it in, you see that the two start glowing up blue again. They come up in, portal lights up blue. Yeah. Uh, we'll go through the portal. Hopefully right. we wake up in our own bodies this time. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna put Pikachu back in the vault too. Before we Pikachu go, come back. good idea. So you pop Pikachu in, so we'll just leave him there. Everybody stepping through? Yep. All right, so we step through. Now, it's a little after eight. We could either start the next one or we can call it. We'll start fresh uh, next week. I'm ready to call it. You're ready to call it? I'm yeah, call that's it. A probably a good idea. I like the nice clean break. <laughs> that yeah. sounds good. All right, Jack, can you hit that? Mm -hmm. I All like right. having, like, starting at a new place. Yeah. It feels right to me. 